G Money. What's up, man? I've been lately I've been using this beard wash. Oh yeah? Maestro's classic beard wash. Talk about it. I walked in, got it, CVS, Target, you know what I mean? And the, the good people at Maestro's been taking care of me. You know, they got this beard butter, the beard restoration. Is it restoration? Is that the right word? I don't know. But that's the same bit that if you put your name in, you get 10% off? Yeah, 10% off at maestrosclassic.com. Maestros with an S. Why don't you use the product yet, G? I have. Well, you see my beard growing, man. Uh, oh. Uh. Get yours today at maestrosclassic.com or walk in Target or CVS and get yours now. And you get 10% off if you put the Queens Flip code on the website. I'm from Queens. Why you zoom so close, bro? <laughs> do, you, do you see? Do you see? Do you see this side of the chair and that side of the chair? You want to see that side of the chair? I'll back it up a little bit. All right, there you go. Fuck are you doing? You be cutting off the whole shit, the, the decoration on the wall and all that, bro. <laughs> Why we got the decoration on the wall if we gonna zoom in on the on, on the people? I'm asking you. I want to know. Why do we have this? I am, nigga. I'm the nigga that see it. <laughs> we might as well just take this shit down. We should. No, nigga. We back that shit up. Oh. Back that shit up, man. Back it up a little bit, space. Come on, man. It's backed up. It's there. <laughs> nah, a little more, man. Let, let, at least get, at least get the Batman, the top of the Batman. You got the juice. It got the. Oh, the shit is on there. Oh, alright, yo, Queens Flip, man. What's up, man? What up, bro? Damn, we back again. Back again. <laughs> How many more days until we have to leave the spot? <clears throat> Hold on, what's today's date? Today is the seventeenth. Oh, see, I got another eviction notice. Yo, 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 poppy, 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 poppy. <laughs> First of all, you know how this shit go. We don't, you don't talk until we address you. Please, slow down, poppy. Please, I don't know. You haven't been here in a long time. You know what I mean? You came with a lot of new energy. You feel me? D man, how you feeling, man? I'm good, man. <laughs> Nigga laughing. Everything good? With you? <laughs> you cool, man? Are you, you good? I'm good. I'm cool. You got a fresh I'm shape hot. up, man. You look, you look, you look, you look, you look sparked. How, how's, it, how's it looking now? Because before you complaining about my hairline and everything, it's alright now. It's just cool. It's cool. Yeah. Can I see you? <laughs> no, you can't see my shit. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a little um little stressed, a little behind time. You know, I got yeah. Comic Con tomorrow. I'm yeah, you leave so it tomorrow. Yes, yes. I go pack, Why you know? do black people choose the last <laughs> moment to pack? You know how I go, man. I don't know. I'm from asking you. Um, well, for me personally, I don't know. I I, I had no idea what I, what I wanted to wear. I had to go shopping, get some new stuff. So. I have a bag full of new clothes. Respect. I didn't try nothing on yet. Respect. So hopefully I got oh, some. Oh, so see, that's what you do. You fit shit on and all that shit in the house and all that. Yeah, but I'm about to do that right now before I leave, though. Like, God, I didn't yeah, even God. try it on yet. So I bought the clothes. Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully it look good. Hopefully it fit. Comic Con. Okay. We're going to see what's up. I get, you know, uh, all right, Comic Con, we out there. I'm, I'm doing an event on for Dragon Ball Z, the 18th and the 19th. Uh, and I'm doing something for Impractical Jokers, True TV on uh, 21st. All right, good. You know what I'm saying? Block party. going to be crazy. Couple thousand people outside, you feel me? Well, salute to you, please represent our names. <coughs> I'll try, you know. All right, man, what's up, man? Yo, also, know. we don't pick it out there, too, San Diego. I mean, Space hey, Ghost gonna be there. Going. How you doing, Space Ghost? You, you gonna good? be out there, with, you know what I mean? Space Ghost like, got us kicked out the location, this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> got us kicked out. <laughs> kicked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Space Ghost. He was in a meeting being very belligerent to the VP of the building. Almost got crazy today, too. I almost saw him get a little, yeah, little yeah, reaction yeah, yeah, well, out there. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's his nature. No, I ain't gonna lie, but that lady is a little disrespectful, though. Okay. Because me and Poppy was waiting, in, you know, waiting for the like show. She asked for it, and, and honestly speaking, me and my man, I was sitting up there fantasizing about dropping the elbow on that bitch. She was disrespectful. Yeah, she, mm. she, she the way she up. came out of her mouth was like, like you a maid, and you talking to people like that? Yeah. You yeah. Just, you the slave right now. You the maid. Why you talking to people like that? Got you. Got you. Right. Slow, slow down. Slow down, Poppy. Damn. <laughs> You get him started. Why you got? Why she got him started, man? Nah, that lady was wild, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I just left it like. Did I, anybody I say anything to her? Did you go nope. and say something to her? Space? I just look. We was just quiet. He's about to. See, I can't. Can you stop yourself from saying something to her. I would have said something crazy. Yeah. So what did you say? Why you didn't call me? I just told him to go back, sit back over there. No, did you do it in front of her? Nope. Well, not really, but like she, she knows. She know. <laughs> she know what's up. I'm not gonna tell nobody. She know what's up, right, Space? Did you tell her it's 24 hours? Like, I respect it if you walk in and go, hey, gentlemen, who you guys waiting for? Uh, we here for the show. Blah, blah. Okay, cool. Well, you can't sit in the lobby. You can't sit here. All right, then I. She was on the other side of the glass, like, yo, which I no, you're not sitting in here. Got to go in the room like that. Like we, like we children. You know what I'm saying? Nah, she was worse than that. She was talking to niggas like she was a correction officer and we was inmates. <laughs> and it was like, all right, I'm not going to come in your house and be disrespectful because I don't know who she is. But at the same time, it was like, yo, who you think you talking to? Yeah, respect. We got to fix that. I don't like that. But other than that, we good, you know. All right. Yeah. How you feeling, man? How's your sex life? It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's Word. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had sex lately? It's only a business. <laughs> you asked me this a lot. I time. did. I did. I did. I did, did actually. Uh, it was good. 
I don't know if it was good or not. It was it was it was it was decent. Decent. Yeah, that's all right. Because that's none of your business. I don't think my personal sex life should be your business. Are you one of those guys that as long as you're nut, then you're good? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been preparing that for? I, that, just now. It's, it's just fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. It's like, as long as you get the, ah, it's all right, whatever. I don't care how what she does. As long yeah, as you yeah, get I don't the, care. Yeah, I, nah, I'm sure. selfish. I do have a question for you, though. Sure. Well, so, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day <clears throat> about this, right? And then I heard it on the radio the next day, which was crazy. Shout out DJ Self. I don't want nobody saying I'm stealing his, uh, his idea now, but... He had, the question was like, what do you consider a break? How do you define a break? If you if you in a relationship with somebody, like, mm. what, what's a break? What's a break? Like if you if you watch the show and you said, y'all need to take a break. A break could go anywhere from a week, a, a two. No, nah, I mean as far as like month. what what is the requirement? It's like what, what what is the you know like I need I need I need I need sixty days. Sixty days. Yeah, I need sixty. But days but, but but during the, put your phone on silent, please. But but during those days, like, what are the like? Are you still with the person? Like for the break, like are you still ah, can can can, 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 you, can you step out? Can you or just like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can step out, but she cannot. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I said, oh, no, 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 why no, you trying no, to bring no, them up no, here, no, man? No, oh, hell, no, hell no, hell no, hell no. Z money, yo. Episode. Hold on, we got Stacy the building. What's up, Stacy? <laughs> What's up, girl? What up? Yeah, 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 yeah. You think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you you ain't here with the wolves now? <laughs> you ain't here with the wolves. Fuck you think you think all that talk you talking? You ain't here with the fucking wolves today. Oh, mm. oh. what the hell is that you got in here? Oh, okay, okay. Who, who? What? That's yours. She eat roaches. Oh <laughs> damn! I'm scared of her. I'm not gonna lie, son. From, from, G money. From from the time you Facetime me in my crib and she <laughs> popped up on my shit. I've been scared ever since. <laughs> that was me. You Facetime? You forgot? G Money. Yo. Episode. Mo- Hold on. Stay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we got. So I got my man Poppy in the fucking building. We ain't playing. Mm. Calling niggas liars and shit. Well, you didn't call Poppy a liar, but you. I ain't call nobody a liar. Not you yet. ain't say that Tariq Noel nigga was a liar. Woo. You ain't say he was a liar. It's hot already. Yes. Based off of what? No facts. <laughs> Episode motherfucker 72 Nigga we made it <laughs> We got a special guest man A reoccurring guest uh, You know um Consider him a friend You know The first time he came He came very uh First time He came to the building The last building He was very um Inconspicuous Very secretive You know he wanted to make sure <laughs> Who was around He was looking around He circled the block about seven times Oh damn Stood outside, he had some goons in the other car. You know what I mean? But other than that, he cool, made show me respect. He showed my, my 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 home, my place of business respect. Hassan Campbell, aka Poppy. What's up, my nigga? What up, what up, what yo, up, yo, what up? Yo, Welcome yo. back. We live or we just recording? Nah, we just recording. We ain't live. We just recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot how this shit go? You forgot how this shit go? I just know you was live a minute ago. So yeah, in, yeah. yeah, I was live. Shout out to my man, Shane Poo. He was in the building talking that bullshit. How you feeling, man? Welcome back. I'm good, man. I see a lot of shit going on, man. What's, you know, can you, can you, can you, can you catch us up? You know what I'm saying some nigga. Uh, so, you know, yeah, open the door. Eh? Yeah. What, what what happened was that um, Space Ghost forwarded me a call. I would like to play the call for you. Mm. Let's just get straight to the to the business. Flip, what's up, Flip? This is a serious message. I know you get a lot of trolls. I know you get a lot of. Uh, people trying to clout chase and all that crazy shit. Listen, I don't want to be on your show. I don't want money. I don't want recognition. I don't want nothing. I just need a phone call from you. You're in a lot of trouble, bro, that you're not aware of. Uh, give me a... Trust me. Call me as soon as possible. There's a conspiracy and a, a, a campaign in which your name has been tangled in and it's spun out of control. And as someone who respects you and, 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 and uh, you know, you, you fall along the lines of the same guys we know. We know the same people. I have some information for you. It's up to you, guy. You want to call me? Call me. If not, I don't know. I suggest that's a bad move. Peace. I don't know who the fuck that is. What? That was annoying when I heard it. But Space Ghost returned this man's call, and he said that 
our interview was used or is being used in a case built against you. The fuck you got us into now, Bobby? <laughs> like, what the fuck I got myself into? <laughs> you get on social media, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize there's rules to this shit. Like, for example, there's a such thing called a YouTube body. Mm. Where we come from, you see a body on the floor, there's chalk, there's ambulance, there's <laughs> the hospital, mm -hmm. the morgue. But on YouTube, you got the YouTube FBI, which is not really FBI members, but they're honorary FBI members. And you know, we was raised and taught not to snitch, not to rap. Mama tell you to watch your mouth. Okay. You get up on YouTube, you make videos, dudes flag you. I'm telling, mm -hmm. he said this, they flag you. Y'all know the deal. Mm -hmm. You get up on YouTube, dudes make this videos about you cause you start to get popular. And me, you know, I'm a reckless dude. I get on a, I get on the mic and I'll be like, yo, I will push your ship. They be like, FBI, I'm telling. So I had to learn his rules to this shit. Mm -hmm. So pretty much these cats out here, they just doing anything. They all over the place. They like, yo, this dude talking reckless because we dissing him. They catching YouTube bodies on me. I'm like, wow, I got YouTube body. <laughs> I got YouTube body. So, mm -hmm. you know me, I'm like, I ain't with it. Nigga, I push your mom shit back. And they're like, word, FBI. He was talking about my kids. He said, hypothetically speaking, I'm going to say it again. I had an incident with a bird dude. He was doing interviews with me the same way I did with y'all. He, You know, he had low numbers or whatever the case may be. He was on YouTube before me, he had low numbers, but he was acting like he was riding on Bambada. You know, so after a while... The bird, we ain't gonna say his name, bird brain ass nigga. Mm -hmm. He um he pretty man, much That's not like you, man. You're not saying niggas names now. Nah, you know why? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I'm not saying these niggas' names. Cause they ain't getting no views. Mm. So we we I'm getting up there on the totem pole. You already up there on the totem pole. Mm -hmm. So now when you mention these bird dudes, like, I mean, why would I sit up there and say a nigga name that's thirsty? He barely could pay for his cable. His Wi-Fi or for YouTube. I'm not giving him no more life. Respect. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm not giving him no life. So Duke acting like he rocking with me. He, he the one that told me, yo, you can get your page monetized and all the rest of that. So I got my page monetized and, you know, people started donating in the Super Chat. Because, you know, for a while I wasn't doing none of that. I know. So now when they start to see, like, hold up, the people are really feeling this dude. They start with the campaign, the, the, the we don't believe you campaign. You gay campaign. And I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, you seeing me in real time, in real life. These yeah. dudes are seeing me on camera. If you in my presence and you in my face, I'm going to crack your cranium. You, we already know this is not going to go down. Mm -hmm. But in you, on YouTube, you can be everything that you want to be behind that camera. So make a long story short, I got tight one day, got behind the camera. And hypothetically speaking... You know, you sit up there, you telling me at 13 years old or even 15 years old, if that's the age that they want to throw out there because they throwing all types of ages, they telling me how old I, I was and what I experienced being molested by Ben Bada. So I said, check it. Being that you said that, let me flip this on you. How about I get some Vaseline, lube up, and tear your son and daughter up at 12 or 13 years old. Oh, so now, check it, Bobby, but check it. Come on. Listen. Oh. Listen to what I'm saying. Now, hold up. Let's flip the coin. Mm -hmm. So it's okay for you to say that it's okay for Africa Bambata to molest me. And I knew what I was doing is what they were saying. Because right. you knew what you was doing. So I said, cool. Let me flip that and see how it feel when I throw your kid in the equation. Only hypothetically speaking. Mm. So they didn't like that. Hassan Campbell ain't supposed to say that. They only supposed to say that to me. Mm -hmm. So... You know, make a long story short, homeboy calls the FBI. He told the FBI that, yo, this dude said he's going to rape my kids. That's not what I said. <sighs> so, again, later on, he kept on making videos, talking about my family, don't even know my family. And I told him in a laughing, joking way, I said, what I'm going to do, I was only playing YouTube. I said, I'm going to take some of the Super Chat money that everybody keep donating to me, and I'm gonna put a bag on your head. So he called the FBI again. 
And what ended up happening, I go to pick my daughter up from around the corner, school mm -hmm. bus, right mm -hmm. there, right on the corner. My other daughter's laying on the bed. Sutton told me to double back because the bus was taking a long time. Let me go get my phone. I left my phone in the house. I go up in the driveway, it's the FBI. Wow. And they sitting up there talking about, you know, uh, 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 we gonna call him Dirty. Dirty Funky. You know what I mean? Dirty Funky Calf. That's what we gonna call him. Dirty, we ain't giving this, we ain't giving this. DFK. Yeah, Dirty Funky Calf. So, you know, and this is coming from a dude now, mind you, that he befriended me, act like he was cool, like he rocked with me. And um, when he seen he wasn't getting no YouTube views, he made a name off of this and Brother Polite and all the rest of the other dudes on YouTube. Mm. So now he looked at me like, hey, homeboy, you fooled. And of course you can do that. You can be all you want to be. You could talk to niggas reckless over the internet because you live all the way in West Bubblefuck and I'm in New York. So dudes get reckless. You know, but I start to realize that it was all a conspiracy with these dudes and it was one dude that was behind all of these dudes making the videos and coming at me. And be um, uh, he was a nigga I, I came out and did an interview with. I say his name, Sonetta, Sonetta TV. He reached out to me. Of course he would. He play, he plays. He's like he say he's playing chess, not checkers. So he's trying to cross the T's and dot the yeah, I's. He reached out to me to do. He wanted me to do a video for for something for them. And I said, Yo, we get you on flip the script and. I mean, telling my price, and you know, it really didn't fall through. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself a question: Do we do we really rock with rats? I don't know anything about him. These dudes, you know what I mean? And he he's trying to be strategic. He only want to deal with you because he know you dealing with me. So just my like nigga. he wanted Star to um host the um sign of the TV awards, he's yeah, playing chess, not checkers. That's what he, then he wanted me to host it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, then he wanted you to yeah, host yeah, it he too. Yeah, Beasley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what it was. At the, at the end of the day, this is the game that the nigga playing. Wait, wait, wait. So who was the guy that got punched in the face? That was him? Somebody got punched in the face on camera one time. Nah, that was um, Tommy Sotomayor. Okay. That's the black KKK dude. Yeah, Tommy That's Sotomayor. That's what he considered himself as a black KKK well, dude? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. This is what he does. He tells white people on his show, if you see a bunch of black people walking in the crowd, he says, shoot into the crowd, kill them all. Now how? When, Sa when Sandra Bland got killed by the police, he said, I'm glad she died. I wish I could have stood there and watched that bitch hang in that cell. When Kanika Jenkins was in that freezer dead, this is the same man that stood there and watched her body land in the freezer. And he was like, yo, why her stomach looking like that? He's, he's talking about her sexually. She's dead, laying in the, freaker, I mean in the freezer. So he's sitting up there, he's shitting on her, talking about she looked nasty, her body looked nasty. Then he started talking disrespectful about her moms. But I'm like, hold up, she just died. Mm -hmm. Where they do that at? So somebody caught him lacking and punched him in his mouth. So they caught him lacking because they was tired of him talking about the black woman like that. Mm -hmm. And um, he got punched in his mouth. He called at, police too. He got yeah, he got punched in his mouth at the sign at um, one of sign at events. So sign at has a, a a thing where will people come to his events and get lined up. Mm -hmm. Me, I went to meet up with sign at okay. and when I went to meet up with him. It was on 125th Street. I was supposed to be meeting Immortal Technique because he wanted to find out what was going on with Ben Bada. So me and Immortal Technique met up. But towards the end of that meeting, I see on um, Africa Ben Bada's henchman on the opposite side of the street. So I'm going to put quarters in the meter thinking I'm going to hang out with them. And then I, I walk across the street like, hold up. So these niggas were sitting here the whole time. So I walked up on them like, what's good? You know, I had my flashlight on me. It was good. But at the same time, I had my Bluetooth in my ear. And my older brother from another mother was in my ear. He was like, leave. He said, whatever trappers have been set, is police all over the place. They got the upper hand. Just leave. So I left and went to um, Tafik, because oh. that was the dude's name. I went to Tafik's mom's house and called him on the phone like, I'm outside your mom's crib. He never showed up. He already knew what it was. Well, let me ask you a question. Tell me, I heard about that story. Now, they were saying that it wasn't in a rumor that you got scared and left. Right? Wasn't it something that somebody said that, or you had a debate with somebody? I heard a, I heard on YouTube a phone conversation, and a guy said that he saw you and you and you didn't. Was it was a phone conversation I heard that you were going back and forth, and you told the guy that I will fuck you up, I'll slap you, or something like that. And he brought that. I think he said that he brought that up that you were or you brought that up and you left. Or they said that if you had something to say, you should have said it there and you left. Here's the thing. Me nah, him, I, I, me, him, he does not, what he's not going to do, mm -hmm. he doesn't do the internet. So okay. that wasn't that wasn't him at all. He doesn't do the internet. If, he, if he's doing the internet, it's going to be on some lecture type stuff. 
Okay. On some about- Tafik. He's going to okay. be doing he he does not do the internet. No, you beeping. had a, you, you you had put out a clip on the phone with somebody. And you told you threatened the nigga and told him you going to slap him. Oh, Sarnetta. What, what was it Sarnetta? Yeah, that was Sarnetta. I, I always talk about beating up Sarnetta every once and in a while. But, but, and he said that you saw you didn't do nothing like yeah, both was I think that that situation I Now had. What, what what listen, what he did was he tried to put his own spin and twist on it. Okay. But what he has to understand is me and Tafik, Tafik's moms literally lives not even a couple of blocks away from my crib. So all of that, I seen him, I ducked him or whatever he's sitting up there saying, like a dude of the caliber that I'm talking about, mm-hmm. you don't talk shit on his name if you don't get busy because he get busy. Okay, Tafik. You, you see what I'm saying? He get Not only do he get busy, but he went to jail for shooting the police sergeant back in um. In 95, you can look it up. He shot the police car, um, sergeant, and he beat it, and he had a body and beat it. So we both was in jail for bodies. He ain't no sucker. I'm not no sucker. Mm-hmm. He's the same dude that I done told people when um, when I was younger, Bambada was molesting him. Bambada was molesting his younger brother. Mm-hmm. Bambada was molesting me. Bambada was molesting his younger brother, best friend. It is what it is. You see what I'm saying? So this ain't nothing new. We don't bite our tongue. But when you YouTube beefing, it's cool to talk fly. So, Sarnetta, once again, mm-hmm. he talks reckless on social media. Reckless. Then he'll call you behind the scene trying to squash the beef. Mm-hmm. Now, this time, what he did was he called the police, go get an order of protection. He calls the police, tells the police that I'm threatening him. But what he don't tell the police is that he's talking reckless about my kids. Sarnetta, so when I Yeah, so when I went down to Harlem, y'all see the video up there. I went down to Harlem to send him a message. Stop playing with me. And what you, uh, so what he did was he called the police, then he went on his show, on his platform, and he asked the conscious community, did I do wrong? Are y'all going to support me? Y'all got my back? Hmm. I called the police. But behold and below, I didn't even know the whole time that all these niggas that was making videos about me, he had them making videos about me. The the the, the, the dirty call nigga mm-hmm. that um. Tried to press charges on me, called the FBI on me. Mm-hmm. He had him do it. Mm-hmm. The dirty cab dude, mm-hmm. he had him call at yo. So he it was basically a game. And then he finally gets up on his platform and tell his people, video still up. I'm calling the police. Are y'all with me? So, let's slow down a little bit. Listen, you know sometimes you, you you move very fast. So you went to send him a message. That means you went to Harlem. Yeah, and a, a, fu- a function of his, or you just went to go see. No, nah, I went there. Made a video outside just to send him a message to let him know. Leave me alone. Stop playing with me. Because I heard an audio with the dude disrespecting the shit out of my son. Now, my son, son. My, son my son, is gay. He got molested. He's gay. Make a long story short, I don't rock with my son like that. But at the same time, that's still my son. You ain't going to just disrespect my family like that. Mm. So at the end of the day, I, when I listened to it, I was drinking that night. So when I went downtown, I was actually drunk as shit. On some vengeance type shit, and people was like, yo, who goes down there so early? Understand something. And I ain't saying that I was trying to hurt anybody, but what I am saying is most of the bodies that drop is early in the morning, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. But if these dudes were street dudes, they would know that. Talk my oh, the stores ain't even open. I ain't saying I was trying to hurt anybody, but I was damn sure trying to talk to them and let them know, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Because at the end of the day, what you're doing is, you're talking reckless to me over social media. And then in real life, this is the problem. You have one of these young boys when I'm in another neighborhood because I'm not a dude that just be in my neighborhood. I might be in another neighborhood like where I'm at right now. And they be like, oh, that's that dude right there. Ha, 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 ha. And then when you find yourself sprawled out on the floor, understanding that it's not really that simple. You can't just do what you see people doing on social media. Stop playing with me. Let's back up a little bit. Where did the problem with you and Sander to start from? Because the nigga lined me up from the beginning. He was playing two sides with Bambada. Got it. So because you went you went to go speak to him and then the niggas were across the street. What well, I was out there for a whole like about a whole two hours. We were supposed to be going to a restaurant. Never went to the restaurant. I mean See, Il Modu Technique recently sat down with me and um pretty told me, pretty much told me, like, yo, well, he ain't know nothing about that. So, okay, cool. But Sanetta was the one that invited me there. Now, here's the thing. It was Red Pill, Il Modu Technique, and it was um Sanetta. It could have been anybody. But I believe 
Red Pill didn't have nothing to do with it because when he spoke to me, when I when I finally said, I right, a year later or a year and a half later, when I finally said, yo, this is what went down, Red Pill called me on the phone and he told me, listen, Tafik was there. I did see Tafik and Sinetta, Sinetta saw him too. Tafik was all, I mean, Sinetta was all over his show, all over the internet talking about he ain't never seen no Tafik, this nigga lying. Red Pill already admitted it. So automatically you in violation. So I try to give Sinatra the benefit of the doubt and say to myself, you know what? He probably just wanted both of us to bump heads on camera to see what kind of footage he could get. But then I thought to myself, he didn't have no cameras rolling, which was strange to me because how would you have me and Ilmodo Technique on the same block at the same time? And this is all you do is get footage, but you ain't got the cameras rolling. So at the end of the day, I said, all right, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow the beef down with Sinetta because all of a sudden when I started beefing with Sinetta, I got like a million people making videos on me, cartoon characters, and it wasn't looking good for the Stop Af Africa Bambada movement. It was looking kind of crazy. So I said, let me be strategic now. Let me squash this beef. I don't really want to talk to this dude. I already see something ain't right with him. Let me squash this beef. I squashed the beef. It started going on and going on and going on. And eventually, I stopped the Zulu anniversary last year. I was able to stop all three of them. So I did. I got. I accomplished what I was trying to accomplish. Shut that down. So now, moving right along, now when you look at me, I done went from having 3,000 to 6,000 subscribers on YouTube trying to get my message out. To where I'm at, I'm at forty three thousand people. Let now. me ask you a question. Let's, let's let's let me. Sorry, pardon me, G. I know you, you know you're a little anti. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to take it. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to absorb the information and mm -hmm. um see where this all went wrong at. You know what I'm saying? I, I hear your side of the story. I hear you saying that you know you're getting popular now, so they try to come at you. But I feel like something's missing. Where it's like something behind the scenes happened to make them really like come at you. Well, this way. is it's not it's it's the, it's the ringleader is Sinetta, and what happened was all along he was already dealing with Africa Bambata. Mm. He business was already, wise, business wise, he was already as far as like for one when when he dealt with the exposing of Africa Bambada, you got to understand something. He didn't really want to. The people forced him. So mm. now once he jumped in that arena, you know somewhere down the line he rocked with Tafik from the beginning. He already he already rocked with the Zulu Nation. Mm -hmm. He already had dealings with them. So somewhere he went left. I, my take is they put the pressure on him. So when I came out and I exposed him mm -hmm. as the dirty, rotten scoundrel that he is, mm -hmm. he didn't like that because he also has a reputation on social media mm -hmm. for being a dirty, rotten scoundrel. He snake polite. Now, check it. He deals with polite, right? Just recently, he was on his platform. On his platform. And what do he do? He gets mad at polite. Mind you, Polite is being accused, allegedly, of scamming everybody out of their money. He's, he's considered to be a scammer. Mm. Now, Sinetta gets into a beef with Polite, bust what he does. He tells the world on his platform that Polite ran away with a runaway who was a child of one of his girlfriends and allegedly started dating an underage child that he ran away with, that he was harboring a fugitive. Now, see me? I'm smart enough to know that. So you exposing him because you mad. But if you knew he had this runaway with him all along, allegedly, why you didn't call the police? So you was willing to let your man lay up with a minor because it it, it was uh, none of your business, I guess, until you got mad at him. But yet you the leader of the conscious community. Hmm. The same dude. Check it. Now he got Ron Savage. He tells Ron Savage... You was 15 years old. That ain't, that ain't molestation. You was down with it. But you the leader of the conscious community. Him and Reggie on his platform. He's, he's exposing who he really is and what he really feel. They say, if you are eight years old and you down with a gang and you get molested, that's not rape. You got jumped in. And we minding our business. Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Who said that? Reggie and Sonetta. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? So is there, we, a clip, is there a clip of this? Hell yeah. Everybody heard it. We fathers though. So it don't sound it so it doesn't sound right to us. Because we fathers. And it's like, hold up, what did you just say? You sure he said that, Bob? Everybody heard him. Everybody like oh, everybody. I didn't hear it. The, the dude had thousands of people listening. 
I'm a poppy man. Don't do that to me, man. Thousands of people. So I can find the clip when I go home. See what Sonetta, what you're not what you're not gonna do with Sonetta is mm -hmm. Sonetta takes his lives down, but you'll find it because everybody else pull it puts it up. Got it. So, so he's that's saying what that he's saying that if you eight years old If you eight years old and you in a gang and you getting raped, that's none of our business. It's not rape, it's gang business. Him and Dr. Reggie said this out of their mouth. Clear as day. The dude told Ron Savage that I'm sorry, Ron, you wasn't molested by Bam. That was your boyfriend. Ron, Stav Ron Savage still running with him. Running with the Sarnetta nigga. He running with Sarnetta. But after, I mean, come on. Y'all don't hear nothing about Ron Savage no more anyway. The band body. Shh, 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 it's quiet. You don't hear nothing from him. Mm. Allegedly, he got that bag. He got paid off. Crazy. He, got, he got the bag. Oh, man, I hate when you do this. It's I mean, crazy. listen. It don't, Let, me one, open the door. Let me open the door on you. One plus one equals two, right? How you can't say a nigga got the bag if you're not aware of the bag that he got? I mean, the reality of it is, what I, so what your, I, what opi I, your opinion. Allegedly, he got the bag, and reality of it is, Did somebody of, tell you he listen, got the bag. All of the young girls that he's paying for sex is talking about he got the bag. Mm. Okay. I mean, come on. You, I don't really fuck with the nigga like that. You know, he back you fresh out. out. You fresh out. You fresh out of the shelter, and you spending thousands of dollars on broads, buying them all types of sneakers. He, he and backed at the else? interview. You know, he been, you know, we, we had the back and forth. At yeah, the time. yeah. He backed at the interview and all that shit, but you know, I, yeah. After he backed out, me and him got into a beef. Because he backed out with you, yeah, then Sinatra, yeah, but, but then Sinatra put him on 125th Street, and he, you know, he was scared to death to come on your platform. He was shook, but he'd go on 125th Street with Sinatra in front of the camera, talking about, yeah, because you only come outside with the cops around, and yeah, we I can get it off. He was yo, shaking, yelling this shit. Yo, I laughed so hard it wasn't even funny. I'm like, damn. That nigga out of all, I shit. said, damn, out of all people, but you know what? This is the type of shit that Sinatra brings to the table. Why you can't sit down with the side of the nigga? He Why? don't want to sit down at all? Let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you. First of all, let me ask you. I, I, I squashed the beef with him a thousand times over. But the reality of it is, for one, never respect the person that always tell you this is chess, not checkers. Me sitting here with you right now mm -hmm. is me sitting up here with my man doing an interview. This is not chess. I'm having a good time. I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying myself. This is not chess. This is us rocking out the way we rock out. Mm -hmm. But if you telling me every five seconds it's chess, not checkers, you the type of nigga that I got to put something in the back of your head. Oh, you man. can't be trusted. Oh, Pop, come on, slow come on. Down. You slow cannot down. be trusted. Slow down, Poppy. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Listen, where I come from. Uh, gee, what the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I mean, at the end of the day, let Poppy, me tell you. Down. Listen, at the, end of, at the end of the day, you can't make a deal with the devil. Mm. But, after, but, 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 after, you, hold up. First time, no, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. First time, shame on me. Problem with you, my nigga. First time, shame on me. Second, Second time, time, shame on you. Yeah. Now, he the snake polite. But polite is willing to go back and forth with him because polite makes money off of dealing with Sarnetta. You know, in order for polite to be able to scam so many people, allegedly, Sarnetta was there on the front line with him. Do the, you think polite scamming people? Polite went from Brownsville, Brooklyn to Hollywood. Where the money came from? What's the scam? What's the scam? Break the scam down for me, cause I don't I, get it. I'm I, listen, listen. What I would do is, I'll refer all the victims of his and all the tens of thousands that he done sucked out of the ass, cause it's a bunch of them. And Sinatra done played them, but but check it. But Sinatra played them on his platform. He played them on his platform, and exposed polite. And then you know what he did after he exposed them for being. A, 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 a alleged rapist and a um, con artist who conned all the people out of their money, he turns around, what, a month later, and give him a, a award at the sign of the TV award. Slow, okay. So now you uh, you gave an award to somebody that you accused of being a rapist and harboring a child and harboring, allegedly, and harboring the child of your ex-girlfriend. All, right, all, right, all right, hold up. You ain't gonna talk to me. Slow down. <laughs> you talk fast. Slow down. Let's Let's, let's back up. Why you cannot break down the fucking scam that nigga did? Why can't I? What's break the scam? What is the scam? Is it, listen, is it a listen, house scam? What is it? Listen, I, I don't get listen, it. Listen, the man never scammed me. Uh, what? Well, oh, what's the man the alleged, never? I, I know he never. You talked about it last time. Yeah, he never scammed you. But what's the alleged scam? Is it, is it what, it's buildings? What the fuck? I don't get it. I don't listen. I'm confused. People, would, listen. Come on, pop man. My mother used to always say, oh, "Listen to me, listen to me, listen." You talking in circles. <laughs> my mother, my mother used to always to say, <laughs> "When you see an asshole, you ride it." So now, if you let her, that's like oh, some of my. Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Some, <laughs> some of the dudes that I know, some of the dudes that I know, mm -hmm. they got a thing. 
when these broads get their income taxes, they come up with a hustle. Yo, we're going to buy 5,000 bricks. We're going to sell them. I'm going to flip this money, baby, and I'm going to give it back to you. Now, I don't know if that's what he's doing, but there's a sucker born every day. Mm. Me personally, I don't feel too sorry for you if you let somebody talk you out of your damn money because you come from the hood. Or even if you don't come from the hood, we all know this is a grimy world. I'm not going to go bust my ass, make all this money, and then turn around and let you tell me you got a master plan. Because first and foremost, if you got a master plan, you should have some money to put up with my money, not me giving you all the money for it. Because for all I know, after I give you the money, I don't know how he got these people out of their money. Okay. I never seen it. Respect. I never witnessed it. But it's way too many people accusing him of the same thing. How much money is he saying? Five thousand, ten thousand, like it's that. It's all. Listen, I, allegedly he done got rappers from New York. He done got rappers. Mm. Allegedly, I ain't gonna put dudes' biz- business out there because I can't be sitting up there yeah. putting dudes' business out there. But at the end of the day, and nobody put hands on him. He got. He is is consistent for years. Of people accusing the dude for getting them. But at the end of the day, here's my thing. So was he invisible? <laughs> here's my listen, I don't know. But what I do know is, is that it's too many people saying the same thing. Respect. What I do know is Sinetta outed him for the same thing. So gotcha. now you got your right hand man out in you and calling you a pedophile slash rapist slash child harborer that ran away, allegedly. Mm. This is what you're calling them. And then you turn around a month later and give them an a, a, a award. So now you're basically telling me at 50, you're going on 60 years old. At that age, you ain't got no morals. You ain't got no principles. You ain't got no scruples. You really ain't about nothing. You don't stand for the things that you, when you sit up there and you call yourself Black News 102, you don't call yourself and you don't stand for what you say you stand for. Because everything that you're doing up there is pretty much conning the people. You got a news channel that don't have no news on it. It is what it is. So I, I, I seen him. I seen the downfall. I seen how he snaked me. He snaked Polite. He snaked Seti. He snaked Young Pharaoh. He went at it with Dr. Umar. I mean, Umar like Johnson. Umar Johnson. Um, like who? It's, it's, it's a list of other names that was before me. You see mm. what I'm saying? He made fun. Of young Pharaoh being molested. Now I don't know if young Pharaoh was molested, but you made fun of him being molested. But at the same time, you sitting in Bronx River shook to death, exposing Africa Bambada with me. So you really didn't care about child molestation. You just dealt with it because it was a story. It was just a hot topic at the time. So now, dudes play the art of war. The same dudes that was acting like they was beefing with him on YouTube when he snaps his fingers. Because if you if you got fake beef going on, you get ratings too. It's still promotion, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's promotion. So now, when he snapped his fingers, all of those dudes that were supposedly his enemies all started making videos on me. All of them dudes that were supposed to be his enemies, he got tape recordings. He got tape recordings on the, on the phone with me, having regular conversations that he's playing on YouTube. Now, ask my, answer me one question. Who you know record people's conversations? Without their permission, who does that? See, we recording right now because we recording on camera. But any conversation that I ever have with any one of y'all, that's confidential. So now you recorded my conversations. You can you you recorded like here it is. I told you the dirty calf nigga. We was I, right, supposedly. Mm-hmm. But then what stopped us from being cool was Sinetta played a, t- a tape recording on YouTube. Of both of them talking shit about me. Mm. Dragging me in the mud. So now, you had this dude, you recorded him. Just so, whatever whatever cool relationship I thought I had with the nigga, you wanted me to see he wasn't shit. But at mm. the same time, you recorded him. Snuck, suck a shit. And then you played it for YouTube. You ain't say, here, listen to this. Confidential behind the scenes. Sucker shit. So you, he got a thing where everybody that he deals with, he's recording a conversation. A person like that you never rock with. You don't deal with a dude like that. So you don't want to have no conversation with the nigga face to face because you're afraid that you may put your hands on I mean, on him. listen, I'm going to keep it all the way funky, right? And everybody like, oh, he an old man. You disrespected my child. You done, Hold up. You done sat on the air. I want that. You done, you done, Mommy. You, 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 you invited me 
to your penis over the air. Now, as men, just keeping it all the way funky, before we could even shake hands, I got to punch you in your mouth. No threats. Just keeping it funky. Just keeping it funky. Oh, man. My bad. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to paint the visual up. It, it, is, it is what it is. Like, you don't tell somebody, oh, you inviting them to your Johnson, and then when it's time, like, to, for you to get it on, don't sit up there and tell me you got a nephew and a cousin from me or none of that. But nah, 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 nah. You a grown man. You can't go, I can't go get somebody to fight my battles. So when you decide that you a grown man and you want to talk that talk, you can't go get nobody to fight your battles. Number one. Number two, you cannot sit up there and say, yo, it's on and popping after you called the police. Come outside now. So he gets on camera after he called the police, called the police, said I threatened him. Then you get on camera talking about come outside. I'm outside right now. You called the police. I don't want no part. I don't, I don't want to skate with you. I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problem. Nigga, you're not going to trick me out of my freedom. How you didn't call the police? He said he called the police. He called the police. They called on the phone. Talking about, can we come talk to you? Like, no. See me when you see me. That's for one. For two, then he went on his platform telling everybody, okay, people, I'm about to get off this live. Because what would you do, people? I got to protect myself, people. So I'm going to the precinct and I got to do what I got to do. Okay, you certified rat. The same white man that you call a devil, you calling on your black brother. Right. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to use the brother word if you want to. Well, you, you, you can. You can. <laughs> listen, so let me wanna, explain something wanna to you. want to punch our brothers in I'm a, the face. I'm keep it, I'm a, listen, I'm going to keep it all the way funky with you. Me, I'm not with that. I'm, I'm, I'm not promoting the white man as the devil and the black man as my brother. Respect. I'm going to treat you with the same love you treat me. And that's the bottom line to that. Because these same dudes that sit up there and say, power to the people, peace and black power. They full of shit. They full of shit. They don't give a damn about the community. They scam in the mm. community. They throw all types of events. They get all types of donations for all types of bullshit, but they ain't getting the kids no book bags. Mm. They ain't helping the kids get no back-to-school sneakers. Uh, they ain't helping the kids get no back-to-school haircuts, none of that. And then they'll sit up there and they'll tell you, yo, because we got our feet on the ground. What you doing? Y'all sitting behind a computer. See, now let me break something down to you. Again, I say this all the time. You're never going to see the cameras rolling. When them young boys got the guns pointed at each other and I'm stepping in between like, nah, y'all can't do this to each other. See, in the hood, we all from the hood. And if you ain't from the hood, you always in the hood. You know when real shit go down, the cameras is not rolling. Mm -hmm. The cameras ain't rolling when them young boys is pulling guns out. I done defused a thousand beefs. I done jumped in front of a, a thousand guns. The cameras is never rolling for that because if they are rolling for that, it's not real. It's not real. So when you standing outside and you talking about you putting the work in here because we, we, we doing this work, what work are you actually doing? I mean, come on, on 125th Street, y'all. if you go through there, what do you see? All them young boys is on K2, throwing up, jumping in front of cars, ambulance coming to pick them up. If they doing all of this on the same corner you standing on, what kind of work are you putting in? Mm. Let me ask you a question. Let's, uh, let, 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 let me get a little personal. You know what I mean? You know, we don't flip the script. We hide nothing. We don't hide anything. What's What happened, if you don't mind, to tell us about you and your son? What 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 happened? Why you don't fuck with him? Or why I can't say you don't fuck with him. I'm just saying why you're not right now. I would like to know the story from your mouth. Please. All right. Long story short. I've been in and out of my son's life because I'd have been in and out of jail. Okay. For cases or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. So now, to make a long story short, the tension came from sex, money, murder, the bloods, blood. Pistol blood. Pete, yeah. the twins. They murdered my right-hand man, my big brother, my mentor, B.O., oh. the twin from Castle Hill. Yeah. Not Pete, the twin. Everybody got it confused. Pete did not kill him. It was the twin. So he was murdered by twin. Twin so happened to be my son's uncle my baby mother's brother. So that put a rift in between the relationship with me and my son because of his mother. Okay. I come home from jail. We always had a wishy-washy relationship. I'd be fighting for my son, and it'd be like, oh, you can't get him because it's mommy, it's auntie nephew day, some shit I never heard of, or it's grandma grandson day, some shit I never heard of. So I used to pretty much, like, I got him whenever she felt like get um sending them to me. So now with, without a, a father that's consistent 
when I'm supposed to be. I'm only seeing my son whenever she feel like it. You know, at the end of the day, I, I became the punishment. This was the game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to your father as if it's a bad thing. So she mentally destroyed him to where she wanted, where he didn't want to come with me. And then when he, when he would come with me, he done got in trouble in school. He done did this. So she tried to make me the bad guy. I'm the punishment is what she did mentally to him. Mm -hmm. She played the mental game that was crazy. Mm -hmm. So moving right along, somewhere down the line, with her leaving him with this person and that person and that person, he was getting molested. Mm. Make a long story short. And then as I guess when he became getting close to his teenager age, somebody was doing the bambada to him. I didn't know about it. Now, I guess because of that, when I was forcing him to come with me, because I used to snatch him up now when I was getting him, now I guess he was gay all along, and he know daddy don't like, you know, I, I'm not really with homosexuality. It is what it is. I know today homosexuals run the world, but my son, I didn't give birth to a son to be a little girl. So at the end of the day, I, I, I believe that that's one of the reasons why he was trying to avoid me. And eventually, he done went out there and then grew some titties and turned full-fledged um, cupcake. Wow. Yo, stop playing. You know, so as a father, Yo. as as a father, don't you know, say it's like, that, Bobby. Nah, we, that's we, crazy. We, nah, I mean, he, he went he through the surgery. He turned. I don't know what he did. I just like one day, you know, one of my brothers called me from North Carolina. He was like, "Yo, can I send you something?" Oh. He sent me a picture, and I threw up all over the place. You like threw up literally. Or you I just threw upset? up all over the place. Time threw up. up. Are you trying to say so? I vomited all over the place. I got that part, but are you saying that the picture you saw, It was he outside? Is it real? Did he go through that surgery, my nigga? I don't know if he have horm some hormone pills. Or I don't know. I don't know nothing about that lifestyle. So, But it is what it is. He he was looking kind of, um, he was looking scary. It was like, I, I, I thought I seen um the exorcist. Like, I seen some shit, like, just that was not normal to me. Like, bottom okay, line so, to it so is... you never spoke to him after that? You never spoke to him? Did you, have, you, have you ever spoken to him? Actually, I just spoke to him um, recently, one time on the phone. He said he loved me. I told him I loved him, too, and um, that was it, or whatever the case may be. But, uh, nah, I, 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 he's not going... Like, as a matter of fact, I just got back in town um, from out of town. I was on the islands, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. When I got back... He was actually at a barbecue. He was near the barbecue when he heard I was coming. He kind of like distanced himself and blew it with my daughter because him and my daughter actually started meeting up. So, you know, she now, she goes see, she 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 looked for a brother. She found a brother because she still love him. Mm -hmm. But I guess he realized that I'm not really equipped to being outside in front of a thousand people and staring at you like face to face with some with some breasts. So he, I guess I How respect. How old is he? Um, he blew it. My son should be like 25 now. Wait, so you you but, stopped fucking with him once you found out, or was it bo before? Actually, it, it sounded he, like before he, he actually, was screaming around. Actually, it's not that him. I stopped fucking with my son. Mm -hmm. My son blew it on me. Okay. The, the last time that I actually tried to see him, he got into a fight in the streets. He was in a hospital or whatever the case may be. He got hurt? Yeah, he got hurt a little something or whatever, because my, my son get down. He fights. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was in a hospital. I went to the hospital, and he told him not to let me in. I said, you know what? What were you 17, 18 at this point in time, or whatever the case may be? I ain't going I'm not gonna force you. You at the age where it is what it is. You know where to come find me. So that's when I stopped looking for him. Mm -hmm. And then I, after that yeah. is when he. And that was before the, you know what? But you know so crazy. I gotta get, get at you, Poppy. I'm just, I, I, it's gonna hurt me to do it. It's gonna hurt me to do it. But you know, you, last time you was on here, you talk about the fathers not being in the home, and you did just now. You said it was the mother's fault, and I get it because I've seen a lot of cases like that. But at the end of the day, the last time you talked about it, you were saying it being in children's lives and the father not being in the home. Now, from your standpoint, you're saying that your son, because he's a homosexual, he kept his distance from you. Yeah. And you can, and, and you, and that's the 100% facts. Yeah, definitely. Because the poppy that I knew from before, he said family is supposed to always be family. So are you saying even though your son is gay, you still wanted to... Build a rapport with him because you said you don't like homosexuality. So what are we doing here? Well, see, here's my thing. As a spiritual leader, oh. as a spiritual leader, 
I believe, well, I try to keep hope alive and say, you know what, maybe I could um give him some type of advice to make him turn from that. You know, turn away from that. Because at the so I'm never going to just give up on my son. But at the same time, I'm going to keep it funky with you. We're not going on the basketball court throwing hoops with, with your titties bouncing all over the place. Like, nah, I just can't. Like, that's something that, that's something that I'm not built for. Okay. I, I don't, like, I'm, I'm not built for that. I respect that. But, I mean, as a father, we as a parent, you, you don't know what you're built for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you bring a kid in the world. It can be... It, it could be gay, straight, autism, it, you know, whatever. Like you, you got. I, I feel like you gotta step to the plate and, and you gotta take see, what, take, take what the cards. Here's the up. thing, though. I see gay dudes on a regular basis. That some of them you can't even tell they're gay, but you right. they're gay. That's true. Right. When you have somebody that transform, they become a transformer. <laughs> you don't turn yourself. Yo, Poppy, come on. Nah, you, that's don't, you, crazy. Don't, you don't turn yourself into something. That's still your son, though. Poppy. Listen to what yeah. I'm saying. But still, in all. How do you tell me to accept something or someone when you don't accept yourself? We're not no, telling you to no, accept but, it. But We're he, telling he, you to he, stand he by you what you said earlier in the earlier interview and what you live by. Nigga, well, I can easily answer day. that. See, you're playing mind games right I'm now. I'm not playing mind games. I'm going to tell you why. You said My it. son. Hold up. You told hold me. Up, hold up. Hey, hold, I, hold up. I, I, hold up. Hold up. Wait. All my niggas who be thinking we solved. My son is a grown ass man. All right. He ain't no little boy. He ain't no, listen, when you a grown man, you know how mama used to tell you, oh, you think you wrong? There's the door. True. He a grown man. I'm mm -hmm. not running behind no grown ass no, man. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Right. You shouldn't. I'm not grown. I'm like, what I look like running behind? My mother wasn't running behind me. She's not running behind me now. That boy is in his 20s. He a grown man. It is what it is. Do you, soldier? I don't like but, my other kids. I'm still a father, and I'm always going to be his father. But what I'm not going to be is slapping you high five while you slapping a dude on his ass. No. Yeah, but you, you, you <laughs> said um. Crazy. Hold on, hold on. That's what it is. He, he said, he said, he said. Growing up though, he, so your, your son knew that you weren't rocking with the whole like having a gay son. Or Hell like yeah, that. everybody so knew, knew that, that about so, me. So you, you, I think you, maybe you gave him that impression. So he's not gonna he's he gonna see you and, and distance himself. You know what I'm saying? So if you didn't, if you accepted who he was, maybe he will accept who he is even better. And you guys um, have a, 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 a better rapport with each other. You know what I'm saying? Do you even care about having a rapport with him? Of and course. It, I, listen, let me explain something. Right, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at the, at, at, listen, listen, I'll open the cannons on you. At the end of the <laughs> I day, like I wish I could go to sleep and wake up in that nightmare of homosexuality oh, goes away gonna... put the cupcake back Thomas on is gonna be crazy in this put, one put put the cupcake back on the shelf put your boxer shorts back on put your boxing gloves back on and diddy bop well you can't you can't Bobby, force that though on, i'm not listen i'm not trying to yeah. see this is what i listen whether it come to whether it be my son mm -hmm. or whether you're trying to turn the whole entire house i'm not trying to change nobody it takes too much work you can't change nobody right. he's a grown man now if i have a, a issue with one of my daughters or my sons that's not of age, then I go get some counseling and, and do the works. But when you a grown man, like, you can't tell a grown man, yo, son, you ain't supposed to have balls in your mouth. I can't tell my son that. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. How, how do we have this, like, how, how do we have this conversation? It's what like you, like, it's like you're afraid to even have the conversation with him in the first place. Listen, it's not, a, listen, a nigga like you is going to speak what's on his mind listen, anyway. At the end of the day, so that's why he avoided you because he know what you gonna yeah, say. At the exactly. end of the day, that's what I was trying to get at. you're not coming in my house. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> you're not coming. There you go. Through my door. Cha ching. With a thong on. You're not coming Damn. through my. You're not. You're, you're not coming in my house. Yo, Poppy, come on, man. With a sports bra on. Okay. You're not coming in my house with a weave. When okay. I went in that hospital room, when the doctor picked him up, I seen balls. It was a little boy. He said, "It's a boy." Yeah, but some some boys. Listen, trans, trans, I don't know. Transgender, I don't gay, listen. Bi, listen, listen, know. listen. There, there's no in between. It's the problem with America. Mm. America is Sodom and Gomorrah. People is 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 is, 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 is fried. Your brain is fried. It's either you a boy or you a girl. There is no in between. You so, hear that? So, so, listen, so, listen, so why listen, you? listen. You see this? This is balls. This is balls. Uh, it don't it don't fucking go. You see this? This is balls. This is vagina. There you go. 
There's no in between. So why are you Let's mad? Stop at playing, nigga, man. Why are you mad? I'm nobody playing with you, nigga. Why are you mad at nigga to see your kid if you don't give a? You see that like you don't give a? Hold fuck. up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I love my kid. Don't get it fucked up. There we go. I love my kid. There we go. You're not gonna disrespect my kid. That's why when he disrespected my kid, I made a video that's up on YouTube telling dudes. Check it out. They took they 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 made a video disrespecting his wife. They took a video of his wife dancing, his family dancing in the kitchen. They, you know, they grooving in there, whatever the case may be. And be, him and the other dude was beefing back and forth. So they took the video, disrespecting each other's family. I made a video saying, yo, this got to stop. When I listened, he did a live. He took the live down, but everybody else took the live and put it up on a platform with him talking about my son disrespecting my family. I said, oh, so you want to talk about my son and your wife look like Buster Rhymes? Uh -oh, okay, I'm so like, no, 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 no. Nah, you did not talk about my son and your wife looked like Shaka Amos. Oh, it looked shit. like somebody actually grabbed his wife and had a street fight and pulled all the dreads out of her hair. So it's bald spots like she got dog bangs all in her head. So, but so, hold up. So now, like like mama it said, says hit, listen, <laughs> if, 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 you, if you kill my cat, I kill your dog. So uh, once I heard got, him disrespecting, so, <laughs> so once he started disrespecting my son like that, that's why I went to Harlem. You talk about my family. You talk about my son. That's why I went to Harlem. I said, anybody, you know what? How did anybody know that your son was 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 that? Was, because they was listened to interviews of me talking about my family. I never Breaking heard the, you talk. You didn't talk about it last time. I didn't talk about it on your platform, but they heard me talking about it on other people's platform. And instead of them sitting up there saying, you know what? That's a sad thing for a man to go through. Niggas sitting up there talking about, yeah, because you were sucking Bam's dick. And then under the same uh, under the same breath, telling people I don't believe you was molested by Bam no more. So which one is it? You telling people that I was sucking Bam dick or I was not being molested? But which one is it? So so let's let's so and you and just for the record, I ain't never sucked Bam's dick. No homo. <laughs> yes, I got molested. Bam liked to drink little boys' babies. He says it gives him power. It is what it is. May the, may, may the truth set you free. <laughs> Shit, damn. Well, you can't use my audio against me. This is what yeah. they try to do. Nah, I hear you, bro. I'm real. Where I come from, we real. Okay. The part of my soul. I know I'm not on camera. I just want I just want to clarify something real fast. Mm -hmm. The homie said it a couple of times, and I want to, I don't think you're getting that. He loved the son of death. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking from facts. Mm -hmm. He also said when they was making fun of his son, that's what made him go get at you. He said that initially, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, you know, but, but but hold on, hold on. No, no, but, I just want to make a few, yeah, yeah. Get a few things out there real fast. I'm going to have to get at you. I'm going to have to. Yeah, yeah. Get, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, I just want to clear. He also said that his son is the one that pulled away from him. I heard that. No matter what the city, why he did what he did, of course, he do, he know his father mm -hmm. don't like that, and maybe mm -hmm. he staying away from that. But even when his son got um had a fight and got injured, mm -hmm. he was the first one at the hospital. Yeah, he said that. So I, I just want to clear that so the the listeners don't think he don't love his son. He's mm -hmm. always there for his son. Okay, he mm -hmm. just spoke to his son. Mm -hmm. He just told you his son. They just, just told me love him. I love him. Yeah, love yeah. So I don't want people to misconstrue. Oh. Cause his son is one way he don't love his son. I just want to clear that because I see it's going sideways. Like, I don't know if y'all, you know, he don't make that clear situation where even though he don't prove of his son's lifestyle, mm -hmm. he's there for him and, and still want to be there for him. But his son is a grown man now. So he can't force his son to be straight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he still be trying to talk to him and encourage him. Like, listen, you was born a boy, you was a boy. You know what I mean? But that's a different story. Hold on. Now, now I, I definitely agree. I definitely heard numerous times what he right. said. My job is not to uh, appeal to the masses, meaning not to. I'm going by what he said to me prior in a previous interview where he said that fathers should be in their children's lives. A lot that's of a household. He said, he told me out of his mouth. The, a lot of things go down because of lack of fathers, right? Now, earlier he did say that because of the, the, his child, he, him being in and out of jail, I remember everything, him being in and out of jail, the mother also made it seem like that he, going to his house was a punishment. Yeah. He said that played a role as well. He said 
between that time, his son also got, you know, must got molested, and he got a picture, and he did say he loved his son. But what I'm saying is that when I asked him a question, is that because he said that you should always love your children, tell your children you love them. It's in the interview. It's there. Right. So I'm saying to him, like, okay, so now I've been new here on, like, homosexuality, right. but I'm asking him, are you willing? He said he loved his son. But and his son, he did also say that his son, when his son found out he was coming there, his son left because his son knows that he's not going to go for that. He said that. You heard that. Right. So I'm asking him, is he willing to put that aside to have a conversation and make the conversation go well? That's that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at. All right, let me take it from there. Hold on, hold on. I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but it's it's a time gap Got where it. I see where the confusion coming in. Mm -hmm. It ain't his son be came this way at 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. a minor, and he turned his back on his son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, his son is starting Doing these cupcake shit. Come on, come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. Why you gotta say the cupcake? Know, I gotta got to... <laughs> All right. He just talking, but when he talk, he's he trying to give you all in a nutshell. And one, I got he it. Trying yeah. to make a long story short and a short story shorter. Okay. Respect. But it's the time zone that's being omitted out of this whole conversation. I respect that. It ain't like his son became this way at fifteen. Right. He just shunned his son. I understand what you saying. His life. I just want to clear that up. But what I will say, though. other kids, and he's a perfect father, even right. to his son. He's, he's still, even though he hurt, he still loves his son because as soon as people start attacking his son. Yeah. Right. You know, but I'm talking about conversation. You got to listen to what I'm saying, but I understand what he's saying. I he, he, previous conversation. I'm yeah. talk, I, I, no, no, I'm talking about would he be able, because you know how he feels about yeah. the whole homosexuality. We know. Even transforming, right? I'm, I'm asking, would you ever be sit down and have a conversation with him and that's what I was going to get at. Like, right. would you sit but down and sit with him? Answer that, of course, because he just spoke. He, they speak. It's the son. He always reaching out. Okay. He make it clear to his son, I'm here for you. I don't prove of your lifestyle, but you need me. He's not going to let nothing happen to his son. I, I doubt right. that. It's I doubt, yeah, he different never, yeah, yeah. when you turn your back, even something happened, well, he can't hey, fuck him. That's his problem. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. No, that ain't, that ain't the story here. Respect. Okay. And I just want to clear that up for my homie. But nobody I appreciate that. you clearing that energy. Yeah, but I, I, I think we trying to get at too is like, you know, um, we definitely respect, we hear what y'all saying and we respect what you do with your son and your family. You, you're still there. I think, I think personally, you know, this, you know, I, I could be wrong, but I think this came about from your actions. Now, I mean, let me explain. When, when you're homosexual or when you're transgender, I, I, I've, I've seen studies where they say that you find that out from when you were young. It doesn't come about when you're 15, 16, 17, 20 years old. It, you know, it comes about when you're about two, three years old, believe it or not. So it's in you from when you're a baby. And as you're growing up, you start to experiment. You start to see you start to see what you like, what you don't like, what what, what, what pleases you in different ways. So as you're growing up, maybe him knowing how you think made him um, veer off a little bit, along with the mom sending him as a punishment. So it's a combination of things. And then him getting molested. So I feel like he had, he had a hard life growing up. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? So him getting older now is like, yo, I don't want pops in here. I, I got beat up. I'm hurt. But fuck it. He can't come in here now. I don't, I don't want, I want him to be around because he, he, you know, uh, he getting older now. So now you're going to start to show certain ways about him that you might catch on to. Like, yo, my son might be gay. You know, I don't, I don't approve of that shit. Now he got to explain to you why he's gay and why he feel how he feel. You know what I mean? So that, I feel like could have tamper with the situation. Now he's getting older now, the cupcake's coming in place, and it's like, yo, I'm not chasing my son, he's older, but you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a tough situation. And for the record, I heard you, I, I've been on the phone with you when you was dealing with your children. You're a good, you're a good father. That's why I said I had to open the cannons on you, because I, you know, I, heard, I heard you with your children. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I'm not, I, I've been on the phone with you nigga for hours. Heard how you are with your child. I would never ever want to imply that you're a bad father. That's not where I was right. getting. At. I yeah. was getting that. Can you put the street shit aside no, I understand, definitely. and have a decent conversation without saying the cup? Because we know how you gonna talk, <laughs> and the nigga ain't gonna like how you talk. That's what that's the, I was talking shit before it to build the dialogue. You know, we put shit out in clips, so I had to build up the minutes. But that's what I was getting at. Are you able to put the shit aside? And like, son, what's up? I know you gonna let him have it. You will. You, you see what you said to me. You will say that. <laughs> well, you Everybody know, that know she, you told me that you crazy. See, at this at this point in time in life, life is gonna let you have it. Life. I'm. I'm. Is it like he he already had conversations with my mom's, and she told me he basically told her everything that I told him in life then came true. So life is whipping his ass. 
Now he has to decide if he still want to be on this roller coaster or he going to get off that ride and um walk straight. But what I will want to say too is I disagree with the they was born that way because I've dealt with a great deal since this band by the situation, my own research and dealing with a lot of homosexuals and lesbians and um a lot of them was tormented so bad by a pedophile to where it made them go in that direction. So everybody wasn't born that way. Some people that was forced on. And mm -hmm. this is the reality that people don't want to deal with. I know females that was molested at the age of six year old where they, 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 oh, they, they insides was damaged, destroyed by a grown man to the point to where that they don't want nothing to do with the men. And see, this is the stuff that people want to get away from. They, they, like, they, they avoid this conversation. Mm -hmm. The fact that a great deal of people that practice homosexuality, it stemmed from pedophilia. Yo, wait, wait, talk about what? A great deal of people <laughs> that that's homosexual. Bobby, I, 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 a I great know. deal. Nah, but this is it's, 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 I'm, I'm, it's I'm scary. Not... I got a video that I'm gonna try to send to you. Mm. Please don't send me no crazy video. With these you. dudes in the bar, it's a gay bar, and they was breaking down. The majority of those dudes were molested. And this is why they was gay. When you see this, is it's, it's sad. So the study you said, the study you're against the study. It's a white man study, basically. It's a study of <laughs> white men. I mean, that's where homosexuality no. came from, anyway. Mm. And it's a study of also me dealing with people and listening no, to them. The study you saying that what he said is just a, it's just a made up study. It's just that bullshit that they. It's bullshit because the truth of the matter is, for one. Homosexuality never was in the African American community like that until they started giving a lot of these vaccinations. Until they started playing with that. Hold up. 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 Listen. Listen. Let me finish. Okay. Listen. People. People have been gay, but let's keep it funky. In New York, we we have not never seen homosexuality in the open to this level ever. Twenty years ago, it was not. It was not. I agree with that. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, you might have seen one gay person in a neighborhood, and if you walked around openly gay, they were throwing rocks at you, stoning you. I heard about that. They did that in Jamaica. Did they were stoning you here. They were stoning you in Jamaica. Yes. Now, through social media, through television, mm -hmm. I'm seeing gay Jamaicans. There was a time where we used to laugh saying you would never see two people be gay. You would never see a gay Jamaican, mm -hmm. and you would never see a gay Chinese. <laughs> now you're seeing both. And it's an epidemic of homosexuality, just the same way they showing you how they got the um I forgot what it's called that turned the the male frog into a woman frog. So they experimenting on us. Well, frogs can do that naturally. No, they have something that no, they have something I forgot what it was called, and they're doing this. They're well, exper frogs can do that. If there's too many, if there's too many female, if there's not enough females, some frogs can change their sex to female in order to take on the children. It's, a, it's, it's science. But, but they also have something that they're doing that's using, that they're manipulating, and I forget the name because I wasn't prepared to talk about it, but the reality of it is we already we already, Bobby, you know we we, we already know autism autism is on a rise. Autism is man-made. It's a pattern to it, so it's man-made. Autism is on a rise. rise that's man-made. I don't, I don't. Those vaccinations that they're giving our kids, mm -hmm. for one, another thing, too, if you pay attention... To ki if you start feeding your children the frozen foods, the waffles and all that frozen food, now you're giving your, your, your little boy estrogen. One of my mans just recently okay. had to go get surgery because he was eating so much, he started getting male boobs. So now it's in the food. They know what they're doing okay, to I, us. I can agree with the estrogen. Mm. They know what they're doing with, with us. To a certain extent. This is, the art of this, this is the art of war here, what they playing. This is a game. So now when you start... So you don't eat waffles. So when you start, hell no, I don't eat that shit. When you start Should eating good, too much man, of certain things, <laughs> you start getting a whole a hormonal yeah, a man. hormonal um, imbalance within yourself. Pop, you my so man. when you hold up, so when you saying, so it. so when you sit up there, you saying I was born this way. No, your mama fed you shit that played with your hormones. Okay, you shaking, uh, you shaking your yeah. head. Can, 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 can we allow state to say something? She can speak. You shaking your head. What, what? I mean, I just feel that you know, it's a science. It's scientifically proven. That people are born um, homosexual, and I and I'm just you know that's just my opinion. All right, let me ask you a question. Hold up, hold up. Let me ask. Let me let me ask you a question. Let, let, hold up. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Hold up. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. First of all, science has science has to be science. Listen, a, 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 a science.
a scientist has to have to be followed up on, just like anybody else. You can't let the science to hold up. It was a proof. It was a proven fact. It was a proven fact when I was in the fifth grade that it was only nine planets. When I was incarcerated, <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm about to get at you. When I was, when I was, when I was, when I, when I was, when I was incarcerated, I never forget. I was on C74, and they actually showed three more planets behind the, 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 the last planet. And also now, in the writings on the walls and the pyramids, now they showing you all the planets and they showing you all the own solar systems. So we actually got more planets yeah. in our solar system than what they told us. So science could be, so science, hold up, 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 listen, 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 hold up, hold up, let me finish though. I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose my thought, let me finish. Let my man finish. Let me finish. Now, Forget shit, Pop. Fuck that. life is about choices, right? <laughs> I can choose, right? Mm -hmm. I was born a boy. I chose to be a boy. Life is about choices. So when they sit up there telling you you born this way, yeah, you was born that way. You was born with hard dick and bubble gum. You a boy. Oh. You a boy. The doctor says you a boy. Your nutsack says you a boy. You are a boy. Your vagina says you are a girl. So yeah, you was born that way. It's exterior. Externally. So now, and hold up. On the oh, insides, oh, on. Oh, 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 oh. Group concentrated group. All right. Well, can what is I ask you a question? I got. I got. Shout out to I got, man. Okay, I got well, over talking want, shit. I just want to ask a question about that. So if you're saying that, you know, <laughs> let's like, all right, there's a, let's say there's a person, an individual who has gotten molested. Right and by by the same sex, and you're basically saying that when they become of age, they they become homosexual because they were molested. Me personally, I don't believe that. If you have a traumatic experience, if you go into a room and you don't like to be there, when you get out and you finally get out, are you gonna go back to that room? Yes, and a lot of people does. No, you want a lot not. of people are prone to the that. abuse. Listen, All right, can't. a lot of people no, are prone to the abuse. If you're, if you're the boy stays, you have to, you you have to face your face. So you're trying listen, to tell me listen. if somebody was molested and they did not like it, that is a traumatic experience in their mind, in their heart. They have suffered because mm -hmm. when you go through a rape, that is suffering. So you're trying to tell me that because you suffered, you're gonna say, you know what? I liked how that felt. No, if you don't like something, you're not gonna go back to it. So for me, being a, being raped, and I'm and I'm not saying anything about anyone. It happens. I know it's factual. People get raped all the time by the same sex. But I 100% guarantee that they, if they do not like that, they're not going back. It's you are not going to be Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Let me, no, no, let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Because she's speaking, she's speaking from a place where she has not been educated at all. Go, oh. Bob. Oh. And, 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 and this is a dangerous, and this is a dangerous game. You got to be, you gotta, listen, you got to be careful, right? Mm. You got to be very careful because who you offend. Because for one, listen, listen. Not saying, listen, listen to what I'm saying. I'm listening. Not saying that you offended me. Mm-hmm. Because I can handle this. But there's so many circumstances where people had to go back and you spitting in, in their faces because you didn't read books to understand why they had to go back. You had people that lived with the pedophile that had to go back in that room. You had people that mothers was crackheads and they ain't eating three and four days and that pedophile fed them. Mm. So even though that they was traumatized, you have females that I know, that I know that had little brothers that they had to fend for. So the pedophile raped them every other night so that they could eat. They didn't have no water in their house. So they kept going back because that fed, that pedophile was taking care of them at the age of 13 years old or 12 years old when their mother was on a crack vengeance. Okay, and I'm sorry to cut no, you No, hold up. No, that's, no, that's, no, that's, no. That's, I don't want to listen. That's different. Listen, I don't, want you to, I don't want you to take away from what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because, no, and I get what because, you're saying. Because, you, record, got, because you got too many, you have too many insensitive people out there you got way too many too many insensitive people out there that victim bash and tell them what they shouldn't have did and how was they fought. And when you do that, you make victims not want to come forward. First and foremost, every person that was molested, who said that all of them didn't like it? You got kids that actually got manipulated. They had fun being molested. They was getting now latest. 
So after they got they Johnson, no, 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 I'm, <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh, because it's not funny. Probably the way you say no, but listen it. to Why what I'm saying. Nigga? Listen to what I'm saying. All right, go ahead. Because adults play these dirty ass games, they and do. this is serious. They do, they do. Play dirty so games. now, when you give a kid all that they want, whether it be GI Joes, whether it be Lottie Pops, that kid actually enjoyed being molested. Every kid did not in, that the, every kid didn't have every kid did not have a bad experience being molested. Okay. So that's fiction right there. But at the same, but listen to what I'm saying to you, because I'm teaching, no, because I'm teaching you something, and what you're doing is, what you're doing is, you're playing a dangerous game, because what you're doing is, you're defending homosexuality, and you're bashing victims of child molestation. No, you're putting, hold up, no, no. you're putting, no, you're putting victims of child molestation on a hot seat because they made a, a decision to go back. But everything that's no. said about homosexuality is is pro. It was it, it was they was born that way. It's special. No. It's no. Gis- no. Pop, whoa, 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 you open, all, you open the other doors. Say, yeah. Nobody, yeah, yeah, Cause that's on, the way. Listen, listen, hold on, sir. listen. We talking not, too fast. Let's I'm, slow it down. I'm not discrediting Let's listen. anybody. Let's slow it down. Who's, uh, who's Let's slow it down. Traumatic. Right? Let's slow it down. Yo. Here, 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 the bottom line. You got a lot to talk. Pop. Listen, no, of, because we moving too fast. You got a lot how to defend She's yourself. Pop. Listen, but we moving too fast. A lie and challenge become the truth. No, like, but you listen, see what he just did? Listen. listen, you robbed the knowledge. That's why he had to stop it and put the knowledge back in. He it's did. It's going too fast. And what I'm trying to say is, but I heard what you were saying. No, no, but you did. You moved too fast with it. Because people have to get educated by this part right here. They have to get educated. This is not about rubbing shoulders, r- rubbing shoulders and seeing whose ego is bigger. This is about getting the lesson out of here. Because she has no experience right. with child molestation. All right. Hold, I, no, you, let me finish. All, you didn't ask let me finish. Me. You didn't ask Listen, me. let me so finish. You don't know that. Let me finish. All right, but I'll let, let you, me I'll let me finish. finish. Because at the end of the day, she's one person. I got over 500 friends that was molested by Bambada. Damn near every fe- damn near every female. All right, but listen. Le- no, I'm you sorry, no, no. Are they, Le- right, no, no, are, we are bumping shoulders people, right now. Let me get the lesson people, out. Are they men here, or are they just women? I'm here are they? to are get they the lesson out, right? Get the lesson out. We're here to get are the you lesson out. Talk after you of course, lesson. but I can't get right, nothing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here's where I'm trying to educate. First and foremost, everybody that's been molested didn't feel bad about it. Some people was being molested at so young of an age, they didn't feel like it was anything wrong with it. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So now when you sit up there and you sitting up there and you judging everybody in a situation as if they the same, you never studied Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, you never okay. study. You never studied Stockholm Syndrome. Because I could ask you right now, if I slap, hypothetically speaking, if I slapped the shit out of you and threw you down a flight of steps, what made you come back and have sex with me that same night? Every woman in America, damn it, hold up. So now, when it comes to child molestation, it's different? So hold hold up, no, 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 let me finish. Because you're moving too fast. So now, but I never stopped though. You Mm. see what I'm saying? You got a point to prove, like you trying, you out to prove me wrong. And I'm telling you facts. But no, what you're doing is you're not even letting me finish. All right, go ahead. You can't, like, two people don't talk at the same time. It's a bad interview. This is supposed to be professional right here. Go ahead. You're too eager to prove me wrong. Now, like I said, when it come to women, right? A female will let a dude stomp her teeth out, give her dentures, throw her down a flight of steps, she come back home, sleep with him that night. Two days later after he said, I'm sorry, baby, he bust in the head with a Heineken bottle. Three days later, that's Stockholm Syndrome. So it's okay for a grown woman to keep going back to a man that's beating her with domestic violence and she done got beat for five years straight by the same dude. But when a kid is raised being molested, oh, you went back to that room. Oh, you liked it. You don't understand what you're doing to the kid that was raised to think that child molestation was okay. Kids know some. Yo, this ain't right. You ain't supposed to be following me in the bathroom. But if I go tell mom... Mom going with me because she don't want to leave this man. It's many different cir- um, uh, circumstances of child molestation. Mm-hmm. I know way too many people that came up in the crack era. Their moms ain't came home for four or five days to feed them. Child molesters lurking. Child molesters start molesting. The child molesters in the family. To be around you like that, the child molester starts molesting you. The child molester telling you, if you tell, you go into a foster home. 
If you tell, I'm going to kill your mother. All types of stuff. Or the child feels like, hey, I'm taking care of my five-year-old brother. I'm 11 years old. I know he ain't eat. I'm hungry too. Now you letting this man molest you. Don't never tell me that a kid wanted it because they went through because they went through starvation. Don't never tell me. Don't never judge a kid as if that kid is an adult. I'm sorry, you're you deviating put in, from what I'm. I'm not. About. I'm, first of you're all, I was never. To, I was never talking about what you was talking about. What you did was interjecting what I had to say because you didn't like what I was saying. I'm so saying, I'm not. I'm no, about, I'm not I'm deviating from what you had to say. And I'm talking about. I'm not saying about oh. those individuals who were forced in situations. When you are put in a situation where your back is against the wall, survival where of the you, when you you the have to survive. Yeah. If you have to intake. Penis, whatever, do vagina, whatever, have the same sex with an individual to survive, that's what you should do. That's what you're going to do to survive. I am talking and making reference to those individuals who I'm grown up with, who I've lived around, been around, family members, etc., who say I was raped and therefore I am gay. I personally and factually know that if you are raped... Okay, you have suffered a traumatic experience. You will not go there again. If you have been scarred from something, you will never go back mentally because you are not, your brain tells you this is a bad place. So for those, what I'm talking about is the people who say, I'm gay because I was raped. That is not true. You were born that way. DNA has been put together, okay, to create a human being. Right. Externally, you could be born with a penis. Internally, your brain operation is female or vice versa. That is what I was making reference to. I was not talking about those individuals who were placed in situations that they could not control. I was not talking about that. I'm saying that genetically speaking, you are born that way. You, there is individuals like he mentioned who are two years old playing with dolls. They have not been exposed to anything. They have not been nothing. They just prefer pink over blue. Mm. And that's just how it is. And that, uh, to make an excuse about you, um, not you, sir, but to make an excuse about people in general saying, I was, I'm gay because I was sexually molested. Granted, yes, you can be mentally scarred because of, you know, your experience. So if you were like, you know, molested, you could probably take on those ser them same, those same um, attributes. You understand? Like some people like to deal, and I'm not trying to be funny, some men like to deal with very young women. They may have experienced something where they were introduced to a very young, you understand? So they take on these attributes. But attributes and, 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 and as far as genetics and as far as everything else is not the same. All I'm saying is, for example, you mentioned that you were molested by African Bambada. Let me ask you a question. Are you a gay man? Hell no. Okay then. And that's the point I'm trying to make. You are not a gay man Everybody's because not the same Mecca, though. because because you all right. But what I'm saying is, let me ask you another question. You said there was over 500 individuals who suffered by the hands of African Bombada. Out of those men or women, are any of them gay that you know of? Hell yeah. Oh, they're gay. Not only that, but I have an audio right. Okay. Of a dude that's on YouTube that I'm gonna play tomorrow just for you. I'm gonna play it because I've been holding it anyway. Where there's a dude that's been gay for years, and he said because he was introduced to a, a, from an older man to homosexuality from a child, and he was raised like that, he thought that he was gay, and he said now out of nowhere he's starting to like females and finding them more attractive than men because he was being molested and a man turned him out. He was turned on to men, but now he's actually going towards being with women 
and he preferred them. He don't want to be gay no more. And I'm gonna play it just for you. Well, two yeah, that, things. That's, that's, that's fine. Two. Though, two. But he, two. Oh, hold up. Two. Hold he up. Hold up. Two. Not gay at all. Two. And yeah. just was two. influenced by that. Right. He got turned out, but even still. So now, but you just argue with me and but say, you you, but you said they but were all was born that way. I think I talking about two straight. different things, though, Poppy. He probably was she born me, I gotta say your point. You saying that there's some people. A lot of people. A lot. Okay. A lot, a lot of people that turn homosexual, turn homosexual based off of because of child, child molestation. molestation. No. She's saying that she's aware that some people turn but see, homosexual. But see, not my, in my opinion. Listen, okay. listen. I want to say. Hold on. I'm important. Yes. I want to say something. Um, both of them is right in their own way. Like every every um, story is different. Correct. Mm -hmm. So it's no it's no absolute here. Understood. So you, when you saying something, it's not an absolute. And just like he, every guy that was molested, every child that was molested, don't become um, homo either. Right. But what I want That's ask, what I'm what, trying to what, say. But you, you said a few things that I just want to ask you. Sure, no problem. One thing I'm very educated, so I like to have. Until and I'm here right? for that. Yeah. Not arguing. We're not screaming. We're Absolutely not. Talking. Yeah. You said when a person is raped, mm -hmm. they would never go back. That situation, right? Correct. And, and, and you know, uh, we're big enough to agree to disagree, right? Because I would ask you, what happened to the little girl that was raped by her father that kept coming back? I'm gonna tell you. I, I, oh, I, all right. Because she don't know no better. I'm not right. saying she went back because she enjoyed it. Because rape is the worst thing you to violate anybody. Right. It's the worst thing you could do. But when you make a statement as a whole, that's what we go wrong. If I say. All black men got big penises. It's not. It's true. not true. Right, but yes. so I'm not disagreeing with you, but I say the way you phrase it is like as a absolute. Which is nothing not is true. absolute. Nothing it's like is science. absolute. Science. It's never. They're gonna tell you. Yeah. Today, this science right is here, ever changing. Right. So you know, look at cancer. Cancer is a big business now. Yeah. So now they, they in the pool. They give them motherfuckers cancer. Right. I mean. My friends, but no, you, you curse. You curse. It's a big business. Yes. So science. Always, you got a bunch of science. Science is not absolute right. either. Science, science, science. I don't think, I don't think anything is absolute. Because he mentioned something. He right. mentioned That's something about I don't know what year you were um, incarcerated in the C seventy five. You said that out of nowhere, you mentioned that there were additional planets that out of nowhere just came about. And from what my knowledge, and don't quote me, they just found out that there were an additional planets in the nineties. So I don't know if you were. Incarcerated then. That was in the nineties. It was in the nineties. So they were going based off of telescopic, you know, information. They weren't going. At, it wasn't until the nineties that they found out that there were additional planets because they actually sent, you know, shuttles, et cetera, et cetera. So, like I mentioned, science is is evolving every day. True for the it's, matter is science is full of shit. Because exactly. hold on, hold on, let me prove something real quick. Science is full of shit. The iPhone, the iPhone, no, they've been there. The, but I'm talking about the iPhone, they, had, they never had evidence the before iPhone the nineties. Been around. They never had full. The iPhone evidence. been around. They just said it was there for over twenty years, but they just putting it out. The iPhone been here over twenty years. And they just leaked that out. So the information. Pop, pop, listen, pop, listen pop, to me. Let, let me don't <laughs> rob the point. Don't rob the point. I hate when you do that. Don't no, elaborate. No, no, no. I am. You stopping me? Because yeah. you always gotta say something. I had to because you don't <laughs> so elaborate. Listen, but I was about to. I'm a about the iPhone technology. Being for 20 years. Let me break something down to you. You ever seen the movie They Live? You ever watch Star Trek? Yeah. It's Star Trek now. The Bluetooth I got in my pocket. He had the pendulum right here. One had it right here. One had it right here. That's true. Beam me up, Spotty. Right? On Star Trek. There was, there was no, there was no flat TVs then. No. But they had flat, but they had flat TVs in Star Trek. Okay. But listen, listen to me. But listen to what I'm saying. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. But listen to what, but I'm trying to listen. But I'm trying to go somewhere. But I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm trying to go somewhere. Now, when you go to the right, when you go, hold up. But when you go to the right ends on the wall, when you go to the right ends on the wall, right? Or you go to the Quran and certain books and scriptures, it'll tell you how you'll talk from one stone, you'll be talking on a stone, right? Mm -hmm. From one stone, and then you'll be talking to somebody on the other side of their own planet from that stone, right? The technology was already here. Okay. okay For I all of this stuff, the technology was already here. I understand so, what they do is, just like the writing on the walls when you go into the pyramids, they show you all the galaxies. 
it all it was already there. Right. So now the concept of building this shit was not already there. The technology's been there. All of this stuff came for a long time ago. It's already been here. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they gradually give us piece by piece. Everything that you've seen in uh uh uh, um, um, was, what was that movie with Wesley Snipes and Sylvester Stallone? I got something after Every, you finish. Everything that they Just, showed you yeah. in those movies mm -hmm. is actually coming to play right before your face. The flat screen TVs, we got them now. The Bluetooth, we got them now. Okay. They, listen to what I'm saying, the though. Mass produced for billions of people around the world at one time is not an easy thing to do. It takes time. It takes years of building. You can't put out. You can I, 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 I don't think he. I don't 10, think he finished driving us to this place. We gotta go yet. You can have the iPhone 10 in 2001, but you can't mass produce the iPhone 10 in 2001. You don't have the resources. You gotta run tests. You gotta run tests. Make sure it's good. You gotta do. It got, you can have that. All right, but let, let him finish. Let him finish. What I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is, is that, the people that's in power, they gradually give you a little bit, of what they have, they can do. Whatever they want to, I disagree with him. You know why? Because you are looking for a job every day. Everybody's looking for a job every day, which makes you a slave. So now if you got a million people working on this plantation called cell phones, you can produce those cell phones within a week's time because you have all the slaves to do it. So I'm not going to agree with that. But what it is is they are a thousand years ahead of us in technology. And they're not going to give you everything right then and there. They're gradually going to give it to you. So who they giving it to? Who they giving it to? Right. Themselves. Yeah, when we did it, it's, all right. it's all, all right, so you, it's you, finished, you finished taking us there? I mean, you know, right think about it, right? Phones, people would look at your That's face. good. They can hear everything. No, I know. Yeah. So you go on YouTube. Listen. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, I, I want to say something too. too. I, I, I do finish the point. I want to jump in. I do finish the point. I understand listen. what Poppy said. You can take what? the phone from Africa, from the slaves, digging it from the dirt to China. You can follow the process of the phone. They show it to you. It's not no secret. Okay. They don't got the, the iPhone 35 locked up in a pen. No, no, <laughs> no. He's not saying that. He, the concept right now. You're being, yeah. no, no, you're nitpicking. Wait, no, no, no. What he's trying to say is basically you, you that the technology was always here. Yeah. No, the it's just idea a, is there. The no, idea. hold on, hold on, hold on. In the movie. Well, the reason why, listen, I'm going to go physics on you now. The mm. reason why phones can't get any smaller is because the fucking board is too small as it is now. The technology of the sound waves from the fucking electricity cannot pass through. They have not figured it out yet. So they're trying to figure it out to make the phone even thinner. Because now it's too much electricity making too much noise and the phone cannot operate at a, at a thinner fucking board. There's a lot going on. With last, it. Hold up, last time I checked. Tight. But hold up, but well, last time I checked, you, space. Don't even, you don't even need phones or computers no more. They got little chips where you get a big screen and you could actually use your hands, right? right, right. That technology mm -hmm. is here now. They just <laughs> yeah. ain't giving, hold up, they just ain't give it to us yet. Because they're not ready to give us to us. I want to whoa, 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 whoa. pick back up what he said, though, hold real quick. On. Hold on, hold on. I, I want to. Right? Can, can I get the bell over there? For Thank you for as your service. Veteran, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the government always had technology 10, 15 years before they give it okay. to the mass population. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So I, I just want to make that clear. Like, everything we got, when we get something, we're excited. Oh, it can do this and that and that. They had that shit 15 years already. Yeah, they we just, time in they the just didn't <laughs> Right. And he's saying China it, had face time in the night. He's saying it take a long time to mass produce. To, for us, is, yes. Which is BS. All right. All right. Listen, before so they told you, home. before they told you it take a light year to travel from Earth to Mars. Yes. Then you could go. They could travel to Earth to Mars and back in 24 hours. So yeah, yeah, look at yeah. Or, do your research. I ain't know that. I thought yeah. it's still. I thought it still took a long time. Before they say it would take forever Elon to get them all. Trying to do it. They could say it would take forever to get them all. That's no, because they don't know. They have no, they have no knowledge. No, but no. Wait, 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 wait. Space. Hold on. Hold on. I understand. Hold on. I know what he said. He, 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 yeah. he said back in the days. He used an example, even in the 80s. Hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Space goes, space goes, slow. Slow down, my nigga, slow down. He said back in the days, and I, I, I understand his example, there was a flat screen in the movies in the 80s, and now we have flat screens. There was a big screen inside of a wall. Flat screen. 
<laughs> flat screen, nigga. Well, the I, screen is flat. The screen is flat, Mace. You see the other side of the wall. No, but the screen is flat. The screen is flat. His point, even with the fucking Bluetooth, nigga, Spock and him was talking to it, nigga. It don't matter. It's still the idea that was there and it was already put together. It was put together. No, it was put together. I it was put together. So, it was, so Spike was talking on the phone? Yes! All right. <sighs> First of all, if you watch the show, they actually showed you the technology in your goddamn the face, but it was now. just a movie, right? No, they showed you the pins. They showed you the Bluetooth. They showed you the TV. But we thinking it's just TV. Back in the days, nigga, the 80s, had they had it. fucking cameras, uh, glasses with cameras on it. <laughs> but hold up, though. Yeah. Exactly. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pass, pass me the bell, man. I want to say something of the point he was saying. Hold on, of the point of the point he was saying, of the point Space is saying. If you going that far, then you gotta go all the way. You can't go that way because there's no big ass dinosaurs anymore, nigga. Are you dumb? What are you talking about? You got big. So why? Where is it? Where is Godzilla? Where is Godzilla, nigga? Where the fuck is Godzilla? He said big ass iguana. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get back to the point where this all this all this shit started at. You know what I'm saying? So. What you're saying, what you're saying, you said technology showed you things in, 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 in uh, due time, right? 10, 15 years, you start to see shit, small things, you see like a little, you, you start seeing little things in, in, in um, increments yeah. until until it comes out. So, so the, all right, hold on. The, I mean, the watch how I bring it back though. Watch how I bring it back. So you saying the iPhone been out from before, right? But they show us bits and pieces of it. That's what y'all was saying, right? Certain features. Actually, Certain features. Now, Steve, Steve I want to get back to the, the point. The iPhone 20 years ago was already out, but it was never put out to the people. But they showed you bits and pieces of it, right? The funny part about it is there's right? a video. No, hold on, hold on. Could, no, a... could you, you said hold on before. I, I, I didn't talk in like 20 minutes. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so you say you showed bits and pieces of the phone, right? So to get back to the point. No, with the, the phone was already exi it already existed. Yeah, but they only ago. showed us parts until it got exposed, right? They ain't show so, us shit. They just gradually gave and us movies books. just like that's what, what they did what they what they did in real life was they gave us the uh, the big stupid phone the iphone was already out the big okay. stupid phone so all right you, you got to get an idea of it what, what i'm saying is i'm, I'm gonna get back to the point now now if i'm gonna get back to the point now if you're a homosexual you show certain parts of it as you grow no yeah as you as you as you get older if if, if you really pay this to your child or your what? kid you can see like no, like like, like she said, when you're younger, you can see who prefers blue over pink. You start seeing you little little signs. And as you get older, and you're 15, 16, 17, you start to think about really what you want to get into. You start to grow boobs, or you do surgery, whatever you want to do. It now it shows the whole the whole side of the story. Let's mm -hmm. get back to the point. I want to say, and oh, okay. I mean, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you're right, you're right, and I just want to say, and this is as no disrespect to you. I don't know you. And this why is no you said that Doctor York. Didn't molest Tariq Noel. Oh my God! That's why, right. and we got a man here that can, that can, that can. Why did you say that based off of no evidence? Right, That's so why. You know what I'm gonna say. The bottom line to it is, when it comes to Dr. York, is that the reason why Dr. York copped out, and I don't care what nobody say, is that talk because talk. he gave those children herpes, and it came out in the medical records. The medical records show he gave all of them herpes. Oh, wow. So now, so when you sit up there, you're gonna tell, you're gonna sit up there and tell people that, oh, this man didn't give him herpes. He gave him herpes. So now every time he want to date somebody, you gotta say, listen, I got the bumpy balls. Wow. He gave them kids STDs. That's why he copped out because he didn't want his people to stop following him. He know he was done. He did not go to trial and win. He copped out. He said, listen, Your Honor, I can't take it no more. I'm guilty. He copped out. They want to tell you, oh, he was drugged. But the reality of it is, like I said before, Dr. York was being accused of child molestation mm. since the early 90s. So then when he finally get caught, the, the allegations wasn't new. They, were, they wasn't new. He been being accused of that. But that's why you got to be careful who you put in a, leader, a leadership position. Because when you give a person absolute power, they, it corrupts absolutely. How much time did he get? He got life? I think he got over 200 years. 200. They wasn't playing with him. The district attorney said that they couldn't even put all the witnesses on a stand against him because nobody was going to believe he did that to that many children. So they held some of the witnesses back. It would have made the trial too long. Now, that's, uh, that's uh, on top of the fact that now they want to make it seem like it was COINTELPRO that his own son helped to take him down. Because he knew his father was a pedophile. 
It is what it is. We have this thing where we want to sit up there and we want to, like, with Charlemagne, for example. Let's go into Charlemagne. Now, let's put the girl to the side that just came out, right? Mm -hmm. Just for a second. Did you hear the audio that I played on my show with Charlemagne talking in the interview, right? And he's talking about how he got the Spanish fly, right? And he had the girl come over. Girl comes over. He gives her the Spanish fly. He knocks her out with liquor. She's unconscious. His man's come in the room. Meanwhile, in the interview, the dude that's interviewing him is saying, yo, this story sounds like rape, the whole thing. Yo, you date raped her? No, nah, I ain't date rape. I just gave a Spanish fly. So now, the similarities to the first girl and the second girl is identical. So now he said, the dudes came in the room. Yeah, my cousin. Oh, is this the same cousin that you said you was protecting with the first girl? Comes in the room. Yeah, I ain't let them smash, but I let them look at her. So now, you got a habit of getting girls drunk. Putting something into their drink. Right? This is not alleged because the audio was still up with the interview with him saying this. And I'm going to make sure you get this. So now, you basically drugging girls. You date raping them. Oh, so now the girl said to him, this is, his, this is Charlemagne's exact words. The girl came back to him a couple of days later said, did we have sex? He was like, yeah. And she said to him, oh, okay, Charlemagne. Well, I'm glad that it was you. And by the way, did your cousin sleep with me? Oh, no, he didn't sleep with you. He just came in the room and looked. Now, let me break this conversation down for you. Your cousin was running around telling people that he slept with the girl. She don't know because you put something in her drink and made her incoherent. So she came back to you, but you tell what he's doing is he's narrating the story the same way he did with the first girl before the second girl come out. He giving you the narrative. Oh, yeah, let me drive. Let me let me drive this car. Yeah. She was like, oh, OK, it's only good. Now, the dude he's talking to is like, yo, this sound like rape the whole time. And they both laughing. The similarities to the first girl is retarded. You got the first girl there. You went and picked her up. You gave her a drink. You gave her friend a drink. Her friends start throwing up all over the place. She said you gave her more drink after why she's throwing up. Who does that? So now the other girl gets up that he raped. She falls to the floor. Next thing you know, when she comes to, she says, allegedly, because I wasn't there, Charlemagne was on top of her. Charlemagne's story was that it wasn't him because there was DNA evidence. But in court, in the hearings, they got it knocked out in the hearings because the mother wasn't letting the daughter um, participate in the case that, the way that she was supposed to. So now... Charlemagne knew that there was evidence and he knew that the, there was a problem going on on the defense side. So what he did, he copped out to a lesser charge. This is why he can't go to court again because he copped out already. That would be trial. They cannot trial you again. He did not go to trial. He copped out. So they can't reopen a case that he's convicted of already. He copped out to a lesser charge. But told everybody, oh, I just got two or three months probation. No, you had three years probation. Why did you lie? Oh, because my cousin was going to college, so I was trying to protect him. Is that the same cousin that came in the room that told everybody, because Charlemagne said with the second girl, oh, yeah, my cousin told everybody that he fucked, but he didn't fuck. So now, while, while Duke is telling everybody this is what her body looked like, he had to explain to everybody, well, I did let them come in the room and see you naked. But I'm the only one that banged. So he's giving you a narrative again to rape. What's the point of that? The point of that is your guilty conscience. Mm -hmm. You got to worry about when you know you done did some foul shit and you all over the Internet. You never know when the eggs or the roosters going to come is going to come back to you. You don't know. So now in his mind, he's like, all right, I'm a date rapist. Just like a pedophile. You start talking about pedophilia around the uncle. That done got all of us in this room. And now we all quiet looking around. And he's standing right there. And we like, he don't want this conversation going on. But with him, he's using reverse psychology. I already told y'all about this. Homegirl wasn't trying to talk about Charlemagne. Charlemagne kept talking about her in different interviews. 
And then she had to live with that. It's been bothering her. You took, you was my friend. You was never attracted. You didn't even think you was attractive because you bleached your skin. So you wasn't even, you wasn't even satisfied with your own look. You wasn't the cat's meow. You was Charlemagne. I looked at you like the big brother. You came to pick me up. My family obviously thought you was cool because they let a 15-year-old leave with a 25. You the big brother. You the cool dude, right? She's in good hands. She left with you. She got raped on your watch. You left her there. Where's the apology at? Now, my whole thing is like I said, when you sat up in front of that camera, right? With academics, you didn't have a lawyer there with you. So why, when homegirl starts speaking her piece and she comes out on Star and then I start making videos, you have my videos pulled down, had me flagged, I almost lost my page. I had to appeal them, get my page back up because now you lawyering up because you don't want her to speak her truth because it actually shines some light on your darkness, on your ugliness. So what you did was, Innocent people don't lawyer up. You didn't have a lawyer when you was on academics. He never foreseen this girl coming forward on a dude named Star and Star busting his gun on him. This ain't personal, but I got to hit you with your own ammunition that you hit with this girl. So you can dish out. But you can't take. But you can't take it. And then people say, hey, y'all dudes is clout chasing. So hold up, hold up. Wait. You can get on the radio. Don't start that shit, you can man. get on the radio, right? And you could give people that you don't know, never met, donkey of the day. You get the donkey of the day award. But when somebody like Hassan Campbell come out and say, hold up, Charlemagne, you get the rapist of the day, Mr. Donkey of the day. Oh, you, 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 chout, you, you, you clout chasing. So he gets to disrespect people that he don't even know by giving them the donkey of the day. But I'm a YouTuber with my own platform, so I can't talk about him because he's Charlemagne the what? He's Charlemagne, the same dude that was down here in Midtown that got punched in his face. Where I come from, we talk about what we want to talk about and we back it up. Now you're going to turn me out. You're going to tell me a bird dude that don't get no respect in the hood. Could say anything that he wants to because he on the radio. But a live dude can't sit up there and say, hold up, dogs. Now it sounds like you done raped two females, allegedly. I can't talk about it. You going to lawyer up? These people ain't lawyering up when you call when you calling them donkey of the day? Where's the rules being set at? Oh, but it's clout chasing. So now he can he can gossip, but we can't gossip. That's hypocrisy. No, 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 I'm good. It is yeah. what it is. But, 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 but listen, <laughs> we can have a part three. Oh, God. Yes. Three, four, five, six, because we really ain't touching on the stuff that I really wanted to touch on. Touching on them bird YouTubers is like, nah. What you wanted to touch on? Just, what don't, 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 so, cause it's kind of hot in here. It's getting a little crazy yeah. getting late. So just say so, because you say you want to do this once a month. And... um. <laughs> what I really, really wanted to touch on, so we ain't even got to do it one. We could come back on another night. What I really want to address is the violence that's going on in Chicago, in New York, in Detroit, in Baltimore, in Wilmington, North Carolina, is going off the meat rack. The body count is up. Our soldiers is being murdered. You got the little Dominican brother that was murdered in that store. Yeah. And after that, for me, even before that, I called for a, a stop the violence movement, but it didn't go down. So now what I'm saying is it's actually time for some of us YouTubers to start letting these young boys know like, yo, you know, not for nothing. My bro just came home from doing heavy time. Our other bros is coming home for doing heavy time that actually did some real shit in the streets. And you know what the realest thing that they want to do? They just want to come home to their family. So now these young boys is about to trick themselves out of them free out of their freedom. They're about to go to jail. They're about to do a decade in jail. All in the name of keeping it real. But when they get in there, they're gonna realize that, yo, I'm a slave now. And all this stuff that I thought that this was this life was hyped up about, it really ain't about that. And this is the message that I'm trying to get forth and get out there that these young boys are gonna lose their life. The trap has been set. 
The drugs is play. The drug. The K two is placed in the corner stores. That's where they came out. Not 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 on the corners. The corner stores were selling the K two. The weed is being laced up now. True. You see what I'm saying? There's a there's a liquor store on every corner. We still overcoming the crack epidemic. We got parents that was crack babies that's raising children right now. We have children raising tri children, and the reality of it is, unless we start doing combating the movies that's putting out like that movie Superfly, it's a basically a, a a a a billboard back to the drug game. It shows you Superfly winning in the end. The drug dealer that wins, but I'm here to tell you that I ain't never seen none of my drug dealer mans win. But what they are doing is asking me for commissary. What they are doing is being upset. Not and all drug, big drug dealers went to jail, though. Not all big, big time drug dealers went to jail, but the reality of it is, what is the stats of the ones that's really winning? Because where I come from mm -hmm. and where you be running around, every project mm -hmm. is being hit by the FBI and they're leaving. When they get there, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. And when they leave and they got 150 people in their cars. That's true. That's not going to see their family for, for, for between 10 years to 20 years in jail. Right. So now, when you got this war being waged on our youth like this, right? And then now, you go to the corner store. I'm G'd up. I get busy. When I go to the corner store, some of the corner stores, I'm nervous. Depending on what hood I'm in, because as soon as you go in the store, the vibe is like, Who you was popping. Facts. Mm -mm -mm. And you just going to get a soda, going to get a water, going to get whatever you're going to get. That corner store can cost you your life. And it's like, for what? So now, I'm just minding my business, but I might just so happen to have a knife in my pocket. And you decide that you want to press me. There's a camera right there. There's a camera right there. There's a camera right there. In New York, they ain't trying to really hear you with self-defense like that. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. So now you get locked up for a knife. If I decide to defend myself, I still got to go to jail because the camera is right there to watch you, to put you away. The camera never co it never catches the rape like that. It never catches the over 200, um, two, 2 million people that's going missing every year. That's true. There's a camera everywhere, but it's not catching that. It's not catching the majority of the people that got the sex trafficking, tra um, sex trafficking going on. But what it is catching is the black on black crime. That's what it's put there for: facial recognition, scanning your body, the technology pop, pop, that they got. Pop, they're not even showing okay, okay, you. Okay, pop. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna revisit this at the beginning of August. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you coming in. Can you please sign out? Because give them your YouTube page. <sighs> please, because I, I love you. And you're a friend of mine. I can say I love you. And I no appreciate homo. you. No, nah, I don't have to say that. I love you. <laughs> nah, you could. But you know what? And, and now, and nowadays, what they're going to do is. That nah, interview did good. They're going to sit up there. They're going to take this interview after you put it up. They was gonna, they gonna say, yo, look how Queens Flip was looking at him. He licked his lip, and then Poppy looked. Yo, these niggas is bugged out. I'm telling you. All right, Pop. Yo, these dudes is no homo. You gotta say it. They bugged out. Yo, they, yo, I'm telling you. Pop, you gonna let's not get it. Sign out, sign out. Say the YouTube page. Tell them where the, you know. Hassan Campbell. Uh, that's the first one. Real topics with Hassan. Second one, and um, raw and uncut with Hassan. You can hit me at um, Instagram Bully Boys for Life. You still with the bully boy? Why you gonna change this shit, man? Because I'm a dog lover. Still with it. It don't coincide with what you do. I be trying to go to your page and be confusing me. All right, Make so it you know Hassan what? Poppy page. I told you this before. You know Please. What? It's so bad with the with these dudes. Every time you type in my name now on YouTube, you see so many of these bird dudes. I'm trying to get away. I might change my name to motherfucking shampoo or some shit like that. I'm just joking. I don't know. I'm just joking. Crazy shit, yeah. Crazy shit, yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm just joking. <laughs> but, crazy. I'm just and joking. Go but, but, <laughs> I'm just joking. But at the end of the day, when you type in my name, they leeching off of me like parasites. You Can you see please all fix your Instagram? Yeah, I'm going to fix it. Please. I'm going to fix it. I remember time with your Instagram looking for you. I had to go to, nobody want to find niggas on YouTube. You cannot talk to a nigga on YouTube in the messages. Who goes there? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but you're supposed to be on my page anyway. But then again, you're right. I'm not following the Bully Dogs page. <laughs> it's about dogs, nigga. Get your Instagram, my nigga. Yeah. I think you, you'll be popping on Instagram. You do your yeah. lives on Instagram. If you have your lives on Instagram and your YouTube, you'll be lit. Yeah. Yeah. I should have been recording this shit. This nigga is stupid. You need your Instagram. I'm well, about we, we, to recording it right now. Yeah, man. Nigga, hopefully, be a little, hopefully oh by God. tomorrow, by today, 
Today's Wednesday, July 18th now. Poppy makes a fucking Instagram or change his name so he can go live. Do not incorporate the dogs with the positive talks. They don't go. All right? Peter ain't going to go for that. All right? Thank you. Shout out to Poppy, man. G-Money sign out, man. Yes. Stay sign out, Stace. Good night. Yeah. Yo, we out of here, man. About to catch a flight in a couple hours. Shout out to my man. It's Agar, right? Shout out to Agar really one time. I would, I, would, I would like you to... I would like you to exchange content with Space because I definitely would like you, if you don't mind, to come back up here to have a conversation about certain things you've seen, like, you know, you and Poppy, but for a different show. Mm. All right, please. Thank you. All right. I'm home with my brother. Yeah, shout out to Tank Cat. Tank Cat will be home soon. Good dude, right. solid. This yeah. is a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? I consider him a friend. I appreciate him. And you know, I know my style of interviewing is crazy, but this is what... This is yeah, how it... Cool, man. Now, wasn't I was supposed to be going to um, one of them Smack, smack events with you when you ain't never called me? Smack Yo. gonna do it. Haven't did an event in New York. Oh, for real? Again. Yeah. Oh, after that joint downtown? No, no. I mean, you the, the one the one. Remember when you spoke to me? You, you, yeah. You asked me. Queen of the Ring. Yeah, Queen of the Ring. All right, Queen of the Ring. I used to manage. Um, they call him Debo. Yeah. His name was the Bell. Yeah. The group called Messengers of Punk. That was my group. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I just saw him rapping on, on yeah, Debo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. never know. I never knew that. Yeah, that's messages of funk. That's they were really the first Spanish group that to mix the hip hop and Spanish. I'm signing out. I'm, I'm out, yo. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can stay here and, and keep conversating. I gotta go home and pack converse, and, converse. And, 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 okay. get, and get out of here, huh? Yeah. Right, let, let me, let me, let me let, don't say them on camera. Yo, this Queens flip, man. You are on TV. That TV, man. I'm from Queens. Remember, lock your doors, close your windows, uh, close the shutters. Yep. Open your blinds. If you see I God and Hassan come on your property, be very afraid. Don't point the firearm. Just have it on you just in case something happens. And invite them in. I'm from Queens. Whoa, what a hot day.